Good morning. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I was just saying bye to my partner. My partner is um, going to watch um, some race or something with his family. So a little bit, um, you know, I started my stream and then I went to say bye. <laughs> so a little bit uh, later back than I thought. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone had a good week. Sorry that I did not stream on Friday. I was um, studying, which was um, a little bit more important than streaming. I almost changed today's stream to a Stardew Valley stream because I really wanted to play Stardew, but um, we're playing some Minecraft today. The, the new Stardew update came out this week, but it's fine. We'll play tomorrow. <laughs> it's it's fine. I've I've been recording. I've been really really enjoying it um, for the the new Stardew Valley update, but it's okay. Oh, we haven't been back here since the twelve hour stream. Oh my gosh. Okay, so last week we made this which is just looking uh, really, really, really good. I, I really like that. No, it's okay, Summer. I, I'm just gonna play one. Um, and then we also terraformed over here and worked on this, which will eventually be the platform in which our art gallery is going to be sitting on top of. Um, but obviously it still needs some more work. We still need to terraform more, but at least we got it down to mostly the same level, right? Mostly the same level. Um, I love Stardew. Yeah, I mean, this is like, okay, if we, if we go into like our test world, hold on. If we go into our test world, this is where it was. And this is this is exactly the level that it is. So this level right here, th that one. So all of that is like removed and like smoothed out. Yo, Nikki, welcome in. Thank you so much. Um, I have multiple different instances. Yeah, Finn. I use a uh, multiple, um, <clears throat> I use multiple, or I use um, like a instance management tool called Prism Launcher. Yo, Rainbow Puff, welcome in, how's it going? But yeah, so today I figure we can continue working on this. Um, we need to start bringing down our pillars. Um, I don't know exactly how far they're going to be going down yet. So we're just going to bring them all the way down because it's just stone. Um, and we also need to probably start thinking about realistically grinding some quartz. Oh no, <laughs> Chibi. That, that happens to me sometimes too. I don't know. Twitch sometimes like, it just doesn't, it doesn't like, you know... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I was gonna say that doesn't look right, but it actually is right. So we need to bring those pillars all the way down because obviously this will be like touching the ground. It won't be like floating. And then behind this, we'll have to fill this in with like stone or wood or something. Jan, hello. Zephyr, hello. Goppy, hello. How was everyone's weekend? My weekend was pretty busy. Yesterday, I got a new video out on YouTube. The The Create series with Blockdown is episode two came out yesterday. I had a lot of fun with that one. I started filming episode three yesterday as well. I have, uh, I got a long play exported and uploaded yesterday for next weekend. And I have another one already exported and uploaded as well uh, for three weeks from now. So lots, lots of stuff that I have been working on in the background. I was playing Minecraft and I had to close it. Oh yeah, yeah I felt that. Yuki, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh no, Dappy. I'm, I'm so sorry that you were sick for most of the week, but I'm glad that you're feeling better. 
Is that too far over? Yeah, it is. Yo, George, welcome in. How's it going, George? Is this the art gallery? It's gonna be where the art gallery sits. Yeah, that's what we've been working on. We were working on this at the end of the 12 hour stream last week. Um, so we basically got a big platform kind of like, you know, marked out. And basically what I wanna do today is I wanna fill in the sides of the platform to make sure that it actually looks good um, before we start building. Lost Princess, thank you so much for the 21 months with the Prime. Thank you so much for that resub. Hope you're doing well, love. Finn, I have a um, I have a command for all the mods that are in this world. Oh shoot, hold on. I have to mod stream elements. I accidentally banned them. But there's a there's a card with all of the mods that I'm using in this world, so feel free to go check it out. I mean, it happens, right? It happens. Sometimes you just have to ban somebody as a treat. And the person that I banned at that time was Stream Elements, you know? I should be working on my thesis. Oh my gosh. Well, good luck if you do work on your thesis today, but I feel that. I feel that. My entire brain has been consumed lately with Stardew Valley since the update came out. I even started recording and editing for the second channel, some Stardew Valley 100 days. I'm really excited for it. Two, three, and then this would be. But I hope that the work on your thesis goes well if you do any work and if you don't, well, I hope that you can give yourself some grace and enjoy the vibes, you know? Um, I bought Java Edition. I've never tried to get it for free or anything. That's not something that I want to talk about or do. Mostly just because it's against TOS to talk about it. Um, I, I, like, personally, I don't care what anyone else does, but I don't want to promote anything like that here. Yeah, passing out. Yeah, I mean that that just makes sense, right? Because it's just such a long stream. But today we're today we're going for our normal time. We're doing six hours today. So let's just see how much we can get done in six hours. I don't know if it'll be <laughs> the, the most, but we'll just see what we can do. And then go from there, yeah. That sounds good to me. Oh, oops. Zephyr, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. I'm gonna be in and out of lurking while I do some work. Yeah, absolutely, of course, of course. I am also doing work right now. You know, honestly though, I have so much to do on my to-do list today and I almost was like, should I cancel stream? But actually, you know, like now that I'm looking at my to-do list, like it's not that bad. It's just a lot of tasks. You know what I mean? Just a lot of silly little things. Cecil, so well, go do your homework. You can never like, don't, don't give up doing actual work to watch the stream. Come on, go do, go do your homework. Probably can't be able to be more uh, time, but happy to see you again. No worries, uh, Night Winnie. Hope you're doing good. Welcome in. Yeah, no, same chibi. Uh, well, I had a copy of Minecraft back then that I got for $10 or $15, whatever it was back then. And then um, I had to rebuy it because I couldn't remember my <laughs> login information. So I've actually bought Minecraft twice for PC for Java edition. Would you have for breakfast? I am having um, yogurt with strawberries. There, there was strawberries on sale in my grocery app. So I got some strawberries when I ordered groceries and now I'm having just some yogurt and strawberries. 
and i also have like a mango uh not sorry not, not a mango like a tropical drink with me i don't know i can't read all the words because it's in german but it's pretty nice some kind of tropical it tastes like like fruit punch in a way but like a little bit more fancy i don't know Okay. Should I? I'm wondering if I should actually remove all of this. I'm probably gonna have to. Does this look weird? No, I mean, it looks fine, right? Hi, Cynthia. Welcome in. Good morning, love. Hope you're doing well. You're going to have to either way for the inside. No, no. So the, the inside will be like basically at the top will be covered with dirt. So this will be the highest um, position on here. Oh my God. That was disgusting. Thank you, Redwood Crafts. Um... <laughs> And, and I'll just fill in the entire circle with dirt, basically. Well, it's not a circle. It's sort of like an oval, like a rounded rectangle shape. <gasps> Lona, good morning. How was the rest of your birthday yesterday? Also, if you guys haven't already wished Lona a happy birthday, make sure you wish Lona a happy belated birthday. It was Lona's birthday yesterday. Thank you. Wish you a good day. Hope you have a good day as well. Where will the entrance be? I don't know yet because I haven't started planning. Um, I want to get basically like this whole thing down so I know exactly how much space I have. And then I can start planning the art gallery around that. It's entirely possible that once we get like a whole space, once we get this whole thing filled in, we're like, oh shit, this isn't big enough and we have to expand it. That's entirely possible. Okay. I need more stone though. And I don't know if I have stone, so we might have to go <laughs> mining. We ended up not going out because I got, oh no, <gasps> that the worst. I always have that as well on my, like on my, birthday i also always have that it's so fucking annoying like who decided that this was okay clearly i am a baby and i deserve love and grace and not that but lasagna soup though on the other hand i mean that's always worth staying in for you know what i mean i think that's what we're making tonight as well What is lasagna soup? It's it's more like a deconstructed lasagna, but the person who made the recipe, um, the person who made the recipe called it a like soup, but it's not actually a soup. It's just more like a deconstructed lasagna, but that's the recipe. It's delicious. It's absolutely so good. I know we we talk about lasagna soup so much that we we actually need a command for it. <laughs> we we really do need a command for the lasagna soup. It it, it is so good. Genuinely, I I would no cap like I would not recommend something that I thought tasted like shit. It was so good. It actually has become a regular food in our like rotation monthly um since we first had it and the first time i made it was on valentine's day for like a special kind of like hey let's try something new and have a little a little date yeah well <laughs> i taught glee how to make it so now he can make it too so, chat sometimes when we have lasagna soup i don't even have to cook because he can do it he learned chat i just um i don't use the obviously the sauce 
um, because I don't have access to that sauce here. I use like a Bertoli sauce, like a like a pretty nice one. Um, that's like the most expensive part of the soup for us, but yeah, delicious, very good. If you try it, George, let me know what you think. I'm very, very curious. I hope that you like it. I mean, I, it's definitely not to everyone's taste and that's a thousand percent like fair and valid, but I thought, I thought it was delicious. Why am I detailing? Why am I doing this chat? I can't stop even though I've acknowledged that I shouldn't be doing this. Does someone know what happened to Mizuno's tropic planks? Um, I've never seen Mizuno's have tropical planks. It's just, it's so satisfying for the brain. Anyways. Does it look good? I'm gonna fill in the middle with like, probably, and this is gonna hurt me to say, probably oak fence gates. Except for where it goes up and down and that'll be open. And I'm gonna, now this is probably gonna be something that I regret saying. I'm gonna curve a staircase, I think. So like eventually, like right here, for instance, will be like a curved staircase coming down. Um, down to like this level. No one can make that decision for you guys though. If you, if you wanna like go have a snack, that's, I, I don't feel personally comfortable telling other people when and when they shouldn't eat, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be rough, George. I think it's a I think it'll be worth it, but it'll it's gonna be rough, I think. Um, let me get this whole thing filled in with dirt. And we can get all of these flowers removed. I think I'm going to have to double dirt as well. So let's get like the base layer all filled in, which would be this level. Oh, fuck. And then on top of it, we're going to fill in this, I think too. I think it'll make the most sense. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should bring over some, <laughs> like I'm I'm genuinely wondering, should I oh, underneath here put some masons so I can trade for quartz? You know what I mean? Should I move villagers over here and trade for quartz? Because I think even if we go to the nether and mine, let's say, let's say after we fill this whole thing in, why don't, why don't we go to the nether for like an hour and just mine and we'll just gather all the quartz that we can find and then see how much we get. Cause we're going to be using pretty much like exclusively smooth quartz slash like quartz pillar and stuff. And then it might be better if we have villagers over here and then we just move them back. Like that might be more efficient because it'll only probably take me 20 minutes to move a couple of villagers. 
but it depends on the output you know what i mean because right now if i want to buy quartz from villagers twice a day i have to fly over here and that's just not very efficient not very comfy not very cozy But yeah, I, no real like big project in mind today, guys. Um, we might also, we might go and do a little bit of netherite mining um, so we can finish out our, at least our armor. Um, because now that we have a beacon, I want to fight a raid or a totem. Obviously, um, fighting a raid. I just need to have netherite armor because I will probably die if I don't. We all know this. I am not very good at this game. Oh yeah, no, no. I, I'm sure no matter what we do, it's going to be worth it. And this world is a really a, a chance for me to um, try new things with you guys. And that's, that's why I love this world so much. Um, I'd be very sad if we died in this world. Um, because this world is like a, a very good opportunity for me to try new things. What time is it for you right now? Um, it is 9.14 a.m. I made a mistake. What happened? What did you do, Cynthia? Anyways, has anyone been playing the new Stardew Valley update? And if you guys have been, what have you thought so far? I know a bunch of people in my Discord have been playing. I woke up at 9 a.m. to work, but the work thing I only planned, um, or is only planned from 10 a.m. You could have slept longer. <gasps> you could have. I mean, now you have like time for breakfast and for coffee, but that doesn't change the fact that you could have gotten at least like another hour of sleep, you know? I finally got to see you streaming. I recently started to watch you on YouTube. Oh my gosh, welcome in. How are you? Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I love it. I saw someone say that it feels like the game just came out of beta and that 1.6 is the full release and I fully agree. I will say I was watching Salamance's video on like exploring everything because I don't mind a little bit of spoilerage um, and it really does feel a lot like you just said like the whole time before it was in early access even though it didn't feel like early access and now it's in like full release. Um, I love that there's just so many ways to get new items that weren't there before. I love like the non-forced festivals that you can just like explore and find on your own. Um, I, I have loved everything so far. I have loved everything. The only thing I haven't, um, I haven't super liked is, um, them changing the recipe for, um, fertilizer. Which I know sounds silly, but sometimes I would make qual quality fertilizer um, for my um, parsnips in spring because it's pretty easy to find clams. Um, and I haven't found any moss yet, but I am hoping as I keep exploring, I will find some moss. Apparently it just grows and I've just been pretty unlucky. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Melanie, welcome in. Thank you so much. It's 1 a.m. for you. Oh my gosh, we are on opposite sides of the globe right now. Yeah, no, same, George. I am, so, I was so shocked. So, so shocked. And you know, if anyone is starting a brand new file, I will say, if you guys do find some of the new spring crops, I don't think that they're worth a ton of money, but they only take three days to grow and they are really good early game healing really really good like 75 energy per which is just amazing no it's okay to be at least you didn't accidentally dig into a cave with skeletons while mining underwater with a door it almost died but defeat them panic about another spawning and poking its little head out that hole you just dug and then panic swim to the surface even though it was a dark and there would 100 percent be mobs up there 
just to die to a skeleton arrow and lose your hardcore world on day two? No. Oh my gosh. What a chain of events. Oh my God, Chibi. I'm so, so sorry. I don't know. I don't have a mayo maker yet. I'm not a high enough farming level in my hundred days. I actually, okay. So guys, guys, let me show you guys a little thingy, my Bob. I'm opening my premiere right now so I can show you guys. Give me two seconds. Sorry. It takes a minute. So yeah, I have recorded fully 10 days of the 100 days of Stardew Valley. And last night I started recording uh, or started editing. So I am at the end of day one. <laughs> the end of day one. This is how long day one is. Um, the first like an intro stuff is about 20 seconds and then the rest is all day one. Um, you know, she, she's looking fabulous. She's looking fabulous. There, there we are, day one. Um, this took me to, to edit one day. It took me about an hour yesterday. So I, um, I went to bed instead of editing another day. I was, it was nine o'clock. I was really tired, but, um, I, I'm going to be working on this in my spare time. I hope to have it done by the end of the month for the second channel. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, um, yeah, I, I've got that, George. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed, I think it's exclamation point YouTube too. Yeah. Um, there is my second channel link. I also posted my second channel link on my main channel last night and I saw like a hundred people subscribed, um, which is just amazing. We are halfway to getting the thousand subs for monetization, but obviously we don't have any watch hours on that, um, on, on that channel because I haven't posted any videos. So what do you use to edit? I'm using, um, Adobe Premiere. Yeah, that honestly, that's what I was waiting for, George. I was waiting for the UI info suite, which was basically like day one, but also the recolor mod. Um, I had I had to wait a couple days to start filming, um, but I'm having so much fun so far. The the editing is a little bit different, as I as I mentioned, it's a little bit different from Minecraft editing. Um, I'm I'm kind of like, you know, getting my bearings together, but. I don't know. I'm just feeling really, really inspired. I'm, I'm really ex excited. I just don't have a lot of free time for anything else right now. Oh, thank you for subbing. I appreciate that. Also, if you guys didn't see wax dropped episode one of his new hardcore world last night, and it was like an hour and a half long. I was, I, I went to the premiere and then I rewatched last night as well because i was just having so so much fun really really enjoyed wax's new episode it was so chill yeah um there's a lot of, there's a couple of new tiles um so all of the all of the um recolors have to be definitely updated we have like a i have like a temporary fix for the vibrant pastoral recolor um which once once the first VOD with the new 1.6 update comes out, um, because my game did auto update by the way on Steam, so our perfection save is also on 1.6 now. I wasn't planning on updating that to 1.6, but Steam auto updated without my consent. And yeah, well, here we are. Um, I was planning on making like a branch of that and then keeping it on 1.5, but here we are. We're it's already done. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, YouTube. Um, go to my YouTube channel, uh, George. Go to my VOD channel, and U UI Info Suite Two is the one that I'm using. That one is updated. 
Yeah, yeah. Yo, Snail, welcome in. How's it going? I don't know, Zephyr. I have no idea. Yeah, unless somebody probably makes like a fan, um, a fan fix like they did for Vibrant Pastoral, um, Tibby. I'm not sure if maybe, maybe the original mod author will come back and, and fix it. I don't know. I'm doing good, Snail. I love the pictures of your new desk. It looks really good. Your, your whole setup looks like very professional now, you know? No, I'm not making a castle. I'm uh, making a platform for a art gallery to go into. Um, I mean, if you if you like life farming sims, then you can get Stardew Valley. Not, not everyone likes that kind of game, but I do. It gives me Harvest Moon vibes. And I mean, if you guys know anything about frog crafting and frog crafting lore, Harvest Moon was a game that me and my sister played a lot when we were younger. And that was kind of like the game that got me, besides Animal Crossing, the original Animal Crossing, into cozy gaming. And I mean, I always played um like, RPGs like Pokemon and JRPGs and stuff, Final Fantasy, um, you know, like the Tales of games, like Tales of Symphonia, um, Legend of Zelda, stuff like that. Um, but Harvest Moon really sparked my love for um, like cozy gaming and life sims. Um, so when I found Stardew Valley, it immediately gave me that like nostalgia in like a really cool package, you know? And for me, that was, um, it was a game I really, really enjoyed at a time where I really wasn't enjoying much else. So like it gave me a lot. And I don't know, I just, I really love that game. Yeah, no worries, um, Dappy, have a good one. I feel like I got more room, which I desperately needed. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I went to the Ikea yesterday and I got two new shelves for my room and I got a like little bookshelf thing too. But, um, I don't know. I desperately need more room. My um my my in-laws, uh my father-in-law is building a desk for me for my new for my room. Um because I'm I've outgrown my my desk that I had before, which was just an IKEA desk and it was a great starter desk, don't get me wrong. I actually still love this desk. I wish it was um still fitting my needs, let's say. But um, as I've grown as a creator, I have multiple screens and even with them being mounted and all the other stuff that I have on my desk, it's just like impossible. I have no space on my desk. Oh, that's awesome, George. I love that. Oh yeah, no, Lona, my first time playing Stardew, I literally like, it took me almost two and a half years to do like the community center. <laughs> like the whole time I was just like fucking around. Then I realized that there was like objectives to do. mind Stardew fishing. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind it. I think it's extremely difficult for that style of game. 
like when you're first learning it i think it's extremely difficult but the more you do it the easier it gets Yeah, like the the more you do it and the bigger your fishing bar gets and stuff and the more you get used to like fish patterns, it's fine. But if I haven't played Stardew in a while and then I try to fish, I'm like having the worst time. Compared to like Minecraft fishing, which is like out of all the cozy gaming fishing mini games, the Minecraft fish mini game is probably the best. It's so chill. You just vibe for like an entire, you know, entire hour goes by and you have like 18 mending books that you fished up. You didn't go into game mode creative for those, Lona. You fished them. <laughs> why why are you looking at me like that's sus? Okay, Lona. Okay, Lona. Okay. Get all of that. Build in. Mizuno's is back. Mizuno's never left, baby. Wait, what do you mean? No, Zestful. I, I, um, I'm fine answering that question, but no, I'm, I don't plan on face revealing. I live in Amsterdam, bestie. Like, I live in a huge city with millions of people. I um, have a pretty pretty good sized uh, audience from the Netherlands. I just um, want to maintain my privacy, you know, as much as possible. Um, I'm, I'm not Dutch. I'm American, but I live in the Netherlands for the past uh, four years. Sometimes you don't have Mizuno's. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I try out different things. Um, I probably won't be able to use Mizuno's forever on YouTube. I mean, if we're talking about like just from a job point. Um, but here on, um, here on YouTube, or here on Twitch, I, I don't mind using it. Yo, game time with Eric. Welcome in. How was your stream, love? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your day? How was the hardcore today? If you were playing hardcore, I know that you normally do play hardcore, right? Welcome in. Welcome everyone from the Game Time with Eric Raid. My name is Frog Crafting. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber and streamer. And today we are just placing a lot of dirt. Uh, we are currently working on a platform for an art gallery to go on. And we started laying this out last stream. Uh, but as you can see, we're still in the very beginning early stages. Um, and I just realized that I wanted it to be one higher. So now we are <laughs> placing back all the dirt that we took out earlier. Starting to build a cathedral on the hardcore world. Let's go. Um, is there like a lore purpose behind building the cathedral or are you just working on that? Just like to try something else or to try something new. That's awesome. Thank you so much mods. Can I get a shout out if you guys don't mind for game time with Eric? Yeah, my, uh, my fiance is Dutch uh, dubious. So I moved here, um, just because it was uh, too expensive to keep living that far apart. Oh, it's gonna function as the Hall of Fame. Oh, I love that. 
like viewer redemption hall of fame kind of stuff that's awesome that is so so awesome i love that so much Nice American accent. I actually got this accent from watching Twilight Sparkle, you know? <laughs> if you know, you know. I actually, I was studying Twilight Sparkle. That was what I majored in. It's also way too big. It's longer than my render distance. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Well, I haven't, I, this is probably going to be one of my biggest builds ever. And it's only this big. <laughs> it's only this big. Um, but one day I'd love to be able to build bigger. I just always build so small and like, you know, well, I guess that's also quite a large build for me, but I mean, I followed a tutorial for that. But anyone who came in with the raid, if you guys have to go raid and run, take care of yourselves, Eric as well, if you have to go get some sleep or get some food or something, um, no pressure to stick around, but I appreciate you bringing the peeps over so, so much. And thank you mods for for doing the shout out for me i appreciate that oh I, i'm completely out of grass and dirt okay 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 did you build a hot air balloon no it's just um it's just a disgusting little box yeah yeah no of course eric of course it, it's so late for you i 4 a.m is a made-up time for me I, I like i don't even remember the last time i was up at 4 a.m there we go. Okay, but yeah, no, it's just a disgusting little AFK box in the air. And then, you know, in here, I don't know if this is on. Oh, it is still on. Okay. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Are you going to have fire res on? No, she's fine. Oh, no, she, she drank the fire res. So look at it. How do I prevent witches? How do I prevent them from just fire resing through the campfire? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go in there and kill her by hand. Yo, Space Cadet! Welcome in, how are you doing? But this is what we built last time on the 12 hour stream before we started working on the project that we're working on over there. Uh, we basically terraformed this whole hill, removed all the trees. Um, flattened it out and then started building up our little platform for the art gallery. Cause I just feel like that's what we need. I, I'm running out of space in our little painting room. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna work on the art gallery. And yeah, well, now here we are. Gonna have to go get quartz. You jerk. All right, I'm gonna have to go. We're gonna have to be smart about this. I'm scared. Oh, I'm, I'm below it. Come here, you bitch. Oh. Did I get her? Was that it? I think I got it. <laughs> Instead of the campfire's magma blocks, um, maybe do do the drops still go through magma blocks? 
I don't know how that works. Yeah, look, we've killed a couple of witches in here. A couple of bitches. Haha. <laughs> well, I I thought I heard a wandering trader. Did anyone else hear that? Or like, where was he? Making ramen playing Stardew and chatting with my partner. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Are you playing on the new update, um, Space Cadet? I heard um a my or I heard a wandering trader sound. Um, this is awkward now because now you guys are thinking thinking once again that I'm gaslighting. So let's free cam that. There's 1,000% a wandering trader over here. Okay, maybe there's not. Maybe I was gaslighting. Was it in the song? Oh, was there? Was there? There was a there was a llama. Oh, there is. See. Let's go. I'm playing on the switch. I got my warp rod from Krobus. No gaslighting on this channel. Mm -mm. Don't 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 look at this. Don't read the sign. The sign is a lie. <laughs> the sign is a lie. We do not gas gaslight or gatekeep or girl boss. We're just silly and smelly. How's it going though, Min? How you doing? How was your weekend? You almost gaslit yourself into thinking that you gaslit. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, a lot of things happen on this channel that I'm not sure what is reality and what is fiction, if that makes sense. I had a pretty busy Saturday uh, going to yet another yarn festival. Let's go. What kind of yarn did you get? If you bought any, of course. Yo, um, MC, welcome in. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Snail is so jealous about the yarn festival. Snail's like, where the fuck are you going to find these? Which Facebook group has the yarn festivals? I need more yarn and Lau isn't here to tell me no. Um, why is Lau saying no to more yarn? Oh, well, I mean, it is true. You do need to save money, too. M moving is very, very expensive if you're ever going to be doing that. You do need to save money, Snail, but a little bit of yarn never hurt nobody. I don't even crochet that much, and I still have yarn in my house. Like, I buy yarn. If I see nice yarn, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I need that. I do need to save money for moving. Yeah, I mean, think about move. You're going to have to move that PC. How are you going to do that safely? You're going to have to drive it over the border. Do you drive, Snail? I think that I, I think that you'd normally take public transpo, right? You're gonna have you're gonna have to learn how to drive snail.
Oh yeah, no, I um uh I got a fine um <laughs> from the government <laughs> uh of of the netherlands and watching that money leave my bank account like really upset me i was like why you're also a yarn goblin so are we all just you know girly pops and that doesn't mean that you have to be a girl to be a girly pop by the way you can also be a boy or non-binary to be girly pop um, but are we just a bunch of girly pops listening to good music, eating good lasagna soup, playing Minecraft, or watching Minecraft, obsessed with yarn? Like, are we all the same? <laughs> I think the plan is just to fly myself across. Okay, but what about the PC? You're gonna have to bring that. They don't make those in the US, so you're gonna have to bring it from home. Okay, I. you know what I would really love? I need a girly pop group of friends to do like paint and sip with. I would love that so much. You know, I was thinking maybe we should do a paint and sip over Discord and like somebody, like I'll stream a Bob Ross video and then we paint a Bob Ross video. I'm sure customs would be fine with it. Just shove it really, really far. Never mind. Um, in your bag. <laughs> right, Chibi? I'm a he they girly pop. <laughs> Jimmy. Shanko. It's Shanko, whenever you get here, it gets unhinged. And I just need to know, I need to, you to know that that's your fault. It's not me because I'm just, I'm just a baby. You know, I'm just a baby. Actually, here, I'm going to actually bring up a picture of how I am okay so so when you guys are being mean to me then you know who you're being mean to give me one second though this is me right there okay <laughs> that this is just me and then you guys you guys are very unhinged and very scary, but this is me. I'm just, I'm just a little girl. I'm just a girly pop. I'm just a little baby. Maybe it was after I became, or after I built a wither skeleton farm. That is unhinged, but in the best possible way. Princess, thank you for the hydrate, love. I appreciate that. Kelsey, oh my God, wipe. When you guys are being mean to me, that's who you're being mean to. You wouldn't be mean to a cute hamster, would you? What happens if you firework to fly fast? Like... 
like okay 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 so you just like do this I think hamsters should be in Minecraft. I think that we should be able to get hamsters. I wouldn't say nothing though. I mean, electro damage can be unpredictable, especially in hardcore. Um, I've seen people like land softly and then die to like a, a fall damage bug in, with the elytra in hardcore. Poor Liv. R.I.P. Liv. That was a long time ago, though. Yo, Kimberly, welcome in. How you doing? I want hyenas in the plains biome. Hyenas are pretty cool. I just, whenever I think about hyenas, I think about the ones from the Lion King movie. And then they become significantly less cool because they were mean to Simba. Oh wow, this is taking a long time, chat. <clears throat> this is probably the most boring shit that I've ever done. When I was building the Enderman farm on the modded server, I, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Chibi, you, you were falling into the void, you teleported home and then you died to the fall damage. <laughs> oh man, that happens. Oh, there's a stretch. Okay, 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 give me a sec. Let me finish this layer and then I'll stretch. I feel like sometimes if I don't finish it right then and there, I won't finish it at all, you know? I appreciate your support on this chat. Last time I was here, you were building an art gallery. Um, we're, we're still working on that, Kimberly. We I haven't streamed since then. I, um, well, I streamed Monday, but I played Stardew Valley. And then um, Friday, I canceled my stream uh, because I had to study. Um, so here we are <laughs> back on Sunday T tomorrow. I will be streaming. Um, but just so you guys know over the coming weeks, as I had mentioned already in discord, some streams may be canceled and the best place to keep up with which streams are canceled is going to be in discord because, um, there's nowhere I can update, update you guys on Twitch. Otherwise I would, um, like, I can't post a message and then you guys can, like, check it, you know? Oh, okay. Um, let me, let me stretch really quick. Uh, let's head over to the AFK spot. Yeah, no worries, Samnia. Have a good one, love. Thanks for being here. All right, let me let me AFK while we um while we stretch, and I will take you guys down here so you can see the mob bath time. I actually really like seeing mob bath time. Okay, BRB chat. Give me two seconds. Zesswell, if you listen to the stream for one second, you would see that I'm literally stretching and I asked you to give me a second. Sometimes I can't immediately stretch right then and there. D don't worry about my health. I've got it. Like I'm worrying about my own health. I don't like the implication that I'm unhealthy just because I played video games for one hour without standing up. Very fucking weird. This like final warning, do not be weird like that in my stream again. Well, 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 would you look how long I've been here, like a curse through generations, or a sickness that won't go away LMFA, <laughs> here's to another 29 months of me being a menace. Thank God. 
Hey, Lawrence, thank you so much for the resub. That was very kind of you. Happy 29 months. Okay, chat, I'm back. This is my hamster voice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, fuck, I didn't leave the game unpaused. So you guys were just watching nothing. No, no creeper bath. Yo, Lydia, welcome in. How you doing? We're on our VTuber hamster arc, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't realize that I was un I was paused there, okay? Because I was a little bit fucking annoyed. That's okay. I hope the ramen's good. Making yourself breakfast nice? I just finished mine, like, right during the stream. I had some strawberries and yogurt. Delicious. Otherwise, um, things are going chill. We're just working on a art gallery, um, which has been the project for the last, um, well, last the end of last stream we started it. Um, as you can see, we are building up, like, a base for it over here. My skeleton is trying to hatch. What? Sometimes the phrases that you guys use. Tez, thank you so much for the applause, love. The phrases that you guys sometimes use are so funny to me. How's it going, Tez? Hope you're having a good day, love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so fair. I was so into the Bulldog spicy ramen for a while, but I actually think I ate so much of it that I'm like out of ramen for a little bit. You know, one day I just was like, nope, this is no longer, this is no longer my food. And that was a very sad day, actually. Um, I was, I was not happy about that. Not very happy about that, indeed. A big family dinner nice how how was it what did you guys have lasagna ramen i don't know if i would like lasagna ramen actually maybe maybe it wouldn't be so bad though with the right noodles yeah that same thing here space cadet it was um very very tough very tough for me it was like one of my safe foods went to from safe to not being safe like overnight and it happened while I was like eating it too. So I was just like, oh, come on. Um, but hope, I mean, I'm going to try again in like a month and see how I feel. Because that was just something that was like really, really easy to eat, you know. And now I now I don't know what to do for lunch. Now I'm like so confused on what I should make myself for lunch. No worries, Cynthia. Enjoy, enjoy. Hope we, hope the work goes wo uh, well. We had spring rolls, trays of meat, pasta salad, chicken, rice, uh, filled grape leaves. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. A big safe food for me is grilled cheese. Yeah, grilled cheese has never left my safe foods. Um, thank God. But I don't always have bread in the house because I like if they don't have small loaves here. Um, and so I have to like make my own bread. Does that make sense? Because 
If I don't, I just, I waste bread. I don't eat it fast enough or the cat gets into it. If I leave it like, you know, out. And then people say you could freeze bread. I know you could freeze bread, but then it changes the consistency and it's just not the same. It's not the same chat. It's not the same. I'm sorry. Freezing bread, it's not the same. It's not as good. No, no, I totally, I totally get it. My grandma always freezes bread as well. And I'll eat it out of politeness, like at my grandma's house, but my own bread, I don't want to freeze. Yeah. Thankfully, I like the texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. If you like the texture, it's probably not a big deal. Or if you can, like, you know, look past it. My cat's a freak, and he will eat anything that I leave out there. He's like, oh, if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. Yeah, no worries, Lydia. Enjoy, enjoy. Waffle sounds amazing. I just wish the option for smaller lobes was a thing. Making my own bread makes me feel girly pop. Do you guys remember those like that time of like the the pandemic, like COVID lockdown where like you couldn't get flour anywhere? Like everyone decided to learn how to make bread from scratch. had something called tater kegs yesterday like is this a food like a potato for for us kelsey it wasn't even just sourdough it was literally everything you couldn't just you could not find regular flour at the store and the second they would bring it in people were grabbing it off the pallets like before it was even on the shelves like that and toilet paper everyone Everyone was stocking up on fucking toilet paper too. Why was everyone so obsessed with toilet paper? The only toilet paper you could find here was like toilet paper that was leopard print and it was called like in Dutch designer toilet paper. And it was six euro for two rolls. Who, who buys this? No, who is this normally for? I want to fucking know who's wiping their ass with leopard print fucking toilet paper. Yo, Moonlight, welcome in. How you doing? It's hash brown or tater tot, sausage, egg, bacon, and cheese in a massive tater tot shape. <gasps> Was it good? That does sound good, actually. I can never find any time of soup for some reason during the, the the lockdown yeah I um well they don't have like broth here so I started learning how to make my own broths at home during the pandemic lockdown and now I just do that every single time but it is a lot of work and I don't have the savage welcome in I don't have the freezer space to like freeze stock so I have to like Basically, if I'm making stock, I make, I like plan a bunch of meals that will use it within like, you know, a week. Yo, Kazabi, welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, same. That's what I do, Mars. 
I um I, I read that tip after I like the first time I did it I did it with fresh because I I you know that was the one thing that we could find during the pandemic was fresh veggies um, a lot of people um like a lot of the the farmers markets and stuff here that were open on like Saturdays were had like long lines but they had a lot of uh, stock. But now I save that stuff in like a freezer container and then I make stock with it, yeah. That does actually really sound good though, Chibi. And Lawrence, welcome back. What did you end up getting for food? I don't know what I want for lunch today, guys. I, I have a feeling it's going to end up being um, whatever Glee feels like making. But the past week I've been having like, well, I made like a little veggie platter for myself. And I say for myself because Glee won't, you know, just won't snack on veggies. But that's what I was having for lunch this past week. Like a bunch of veggies that I made into a platter. Abby, thank you so much for the chat hydrate, my love. Do I want some cookies? I'm good, but maybe somebody else will want some cookies. It's um, it's 10 a.m. here and I just had my breakfast. Okay, chat, wait, wait, wait. Can I tell you guys something embarrassing? Whenever I hear this song, I'm gonna turn it up. I think it says, fall into my and then dot 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 but for some reason i hear it as we're all at chick-fil-a what is wrong with me what is wrong with me why do i hear it that way <laughs> why do i hear we're all at chick-fil-a whenever i hear this song I don't even eat there. <laughs> Cape Cat, thank you for the hydrate as well. <laughs> George, yes, with that exact alien dance. It's so real. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I still gotta have my breakfast. What should I get? Are rom ramen noodles still early or too early? I mean, personally, I, I don't ever find it too early to have a little bit of ramen, you know? One thing I wanna start making is fancy ramen with like soft boiled eggs, mushrooms, maybe slices of meat and garnish with green onion. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. I'm so down for that. I, you know, I wish I liked soft boiled eggs a little bit more. Um, I'm, I'm very weird about eggs. I like scrambled eggs. And I like omelets sometimes, but eggs just smell like fart to me. Maybe I'm the only one. I'm probably going to be a silent watcher today. I got a million things to do this morning before my sister's baby shower. Yeah, no worries, Abby. I hope you guys have a good time later on then when when the baby shower is. God. <clears throat> Redwood crafts. Must have been eating some eggs. I don't know. Yo, Zen. Welcome in. What shaders do you use? I use complimentary shaders. Welcome in. You know, I I also don't mind sometimes quiche. Um, 
but that's also dependent on like what's in the quiche like the the actual like ingredients but i i just can't do hard boiled eggs and i can't do soft boiled eggs and i'd love to be able to do fried eggs oh my god the whole fucking forest is gonna burn down again how is this possible bro what do you mean Like, I love fried rice. I love, you know, rice with, like, scrambled eggs and stuff. I wish that I could eat ramen with, like, soft-boiled egg. Yeah, no worries, princess. Sleep well, love. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope you have sweet dreams. Here's a little forehead kiss for you. Oh my god, a chat. Minecraft is gay. Wasn't- didn't we just see a bunch of shit on fire over here? Did I- did I hallucinate that? Okay, whatever. I don't- I don't care. Can you get struck by lightning in Minecraft? You ha you can. I've been struck by lightning in my uh, Rosewood world. I just love eggs. No, no stop bringing up the goddamn forklift. Stop bringing up the forklift, god damn it. No forklift. Let's talk about something else. Anything else other than forklifts. Um. 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 Cheese. I like cheese. I like cheese. I've, I've, you know, I, okay. If you guys had to like pick one cheese for like a snack. What kind of cheese do you want? As a snack. I'm not I'm not saying like only on your pizza or something, but as a snack. Brie? I've um What does brie taste like? Because I'm not sure if I like brie or not. Feta? You eat you would eat feta crumbles out of the bag. You're, I'm talking about a snack. I'm talking about like you would just eat some out of the bag or cut it up and eat it. You'd eat feta. Dill Havarti? Havarti is very good, yeah. Oh my god, Lona has a whole answer. Came and buried in the air fryer with honey and rosemary and then dipped toast in it. That does sound delicious, actually. A little bit of warm cheese. Oh, also, chat, I saw somebody, somebody recommended having toast with a little bit of, like, creamy ricotta spread on it with honey on top. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try that for breakfast. Toast with ricotta and honey sounds fucking delicious. Some blue cheese eating with a spoon as a snack. You're trolling, Cynthia. You're trolling. Cynthia is like, I would eat blue cheese dipped in ranch <laughs> with a fork. 
cheese and honey together is one of my fave combos. I'm actually getting more into honey the older than I get. I wasn't, I, I mean, I, I just never really ate honey when I was like younger, but now it's like so good. Honey is too expensive for me, so I don't have it often. Yeah, I get like the very, well, it's probably not even like real honey. I get like very cheap honey from the little, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Kimberly, I have um, a whole list of mods. Exclamation point frog mods. That froggy mods link from stream elements shows everything that I'm using in this world. Or burrata. Oh, burrata is so good. I use burrata in like this um, roasted pepper pasta that I make. So like you basically like roast um, peppers in the oven and then you add um, some seasonings and stuff to a blender with the roasted peppers and burrata and like some olive oil and you like blend it until it's like really, really smooth. And then you like put that sauce in your pasta. I was eating that as like an alternative to pasta sauce for a while because sometimes tomatoes are a little bit too acidic for me. It makes me feel like I'm going to have like like acid reflux heartburn kind of. George is not, George is Australian. I know the basket badge is so pretty. I think that that's the last one that you can get. I think that is my my last current badge. So once you get to two and a half years as a subscriber, there's no badge after that. But eventually I will I will put more badges. <laughs> Lawrence was like, if you're fucking in Washington, why haven't we hung out, bro? Okay chat we have completely filled this in um now we normally would be jumping for joy about that except for that now we have to go to the nether so <laughs> it's very bad oh my god what a banger though All right, we're going to mine for like an hour for another quartz. Fwibbit, hello, welcome in. Do you ever remember your age and go, God damn it, yes regularly I'm just a teenager in my 20s please don't make me pay taxes oh my god this song's a banger chat do you guys want to hear a new song that I heard it's not the same vibe um, but I really, really like it. Do you guys want to hear it? I love this guy's voice. Bye, Cave Cat.
I really, really like this song. It's really good. I love the way he sings. I did a lot of door dashing last week, delivering, not receiving to meet a promo. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't think you were ordering DoorDash. I knew you were probably meant working. Um, and I have a lot of spending money, so I'm finally gonna buy pots with a removable handle. <gasps> Ooh, for gardening? I love that. Let's go. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> Hello, small child. You got games on your phone? Do you have Flappy Bird? Can I have the Cheeto out of your pocket? I can see it sticking out. See, it's right there. You have a Cheeto in your pocket. Ah! Bro, I'm trying to talk to this child about his Cheetos. Oh my god, I'm better. I'm so much better. Fuck you. I never played Flappy Bird. I only know that um, because on One Shot Season 4, um, Drift mentioned Flappy Bird. <laughs> so I, 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 I know it because of that. How the fuck do I go down? Oh, right here. Oh, not for gardening, for cooking. Oh, oh, pots, pots like that. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant like garden pots. I was like, oh, like a little, like a little uh, movable garden pot for your house. <laughs> I'm, um, no one ever accused me of being smart, you know? I really like that song. What did you guys think? I thought it was so beautiful. Of course, I tend to love music about the person being heartbroken. Uh, because <laughs> I'm a shitty person. Also, I just feel like I relate to that. You fucking get away from me. I was cool with your child up there. <gasps> you bought a real plant for your house? Let's go, Chibi. Added it to my Spotify. It was so good. Now back to the reg regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so the first five minutes of court searching has not been going well. Um, <laughs> it's been extremely dangerous with no payoff. There are a lot of mobs here. Oh, bruh. Stop using the other piglins as... He's using them as a shield. Why is everything on fire? <laughs> Sorry. Welcome in, cats. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Space Cadet! Oh my god. Actually, so... That was good. That was good. That was actually good. I know. I mean, that's so real. We are in Minecraft hell. Um... I just want to know what what did we do to get here besides you know like why why couldn't when we have gone through that portal it had gone to a place where cottage cheese was like cheaper you know instead it went to like minecraft hell and you know cottage cheese is expensive in minecraft hell And this is um, not worth it to go over <laughs> the floating platform, I don't think. So we'll go this way. What are we getting quartz for? That's a good question. Um, we are going to be making an art gallery. Um, and basically, I want to know if I should just mine quartz and like grind it out or if I should just get a couple of villagers uh, over in my area. So that's 
We're currently just doing a little bit of an, an experiment. I mean, either way, we're still using quartz for the art gallery, but I think we're gonna be using quartz and light gray stained glass. <gasps> no! Oh my God, I hate it here. Can you just go away, please? Last stream, we looked for Swift Sneak as well, um, but I set off two Shriekers and I ran like a little baby. Um, we weren't even in an ancient city. We were just, we were just um, looking. True. Can you fucking die? There we go. Solar, welcome in. Are they milking hoglins for the cheese? Um, so I have to tell you, I know that milking is probably the right word, but I really feel that we should stop using the word milking. <laughs> Izzy, welcome in. Fade Ninja, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. That's true. I, I don't know why the ghasts are so scary. Extracting, I'm, extracting might be better. Um, milking just gives me the very, like, just feels wrong. Too much Wattpad in the 2010s, you know? That's that's how it'll happen. Who's up milking their hoglin right now? I'm <laughs> I'm banning you, Lawrence. I'm genuinely banning you. I'm <laughs> guys, say bye to Lawrence forever. <laughs> You and me both, Space Cadet. You and me both. It's just not worth it to go over the lava. I know I'm gonna get pushed off. What's up, dude? I am such a shitty shot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's that Valorant aim. <laughs> Hello? Are there any quartz blocks looking for a relocation into my inventory? Um, you will be fortuned up, so you will become even greater than you are as now. Um, we're also offering a $20 Denny gift card for any quartz blocks. I don't know, Lawrence. Are you a Denny's quartz? Are are you a Minecraft quartz block, or do you just want the Denny's? Well, 
Why would you breed your enemies for the achievement? Because it's an achievement. For some reason, you need them for two by two. I've never been to Denny's. I've only ever been there and then gotten really bad stomach pain after, so you're not missing anything. Every piglin ever. <laughs> Why are you guys all here? Got that Denny's gas. <laughs> oh my god. No, but I don't know why I always get a tummy ache really bad whenever I have their food, no matter what it is. But they are usually open 24 seven. At least the location that was nearby my house was. Oh, but then, okay, so, so this is some real frog crafting lore moment right now, chat. Um, the Denny's location um, where I used to live, somebody drove a truck into the store. Oh, bruh. Um, so then, like, they were closed for, like, a week. Like, no one was hurt or anything, but they just, like, when they were trying to park, they just, I guess instead of hitting the brake, they hit the gas. That's wild, though. I'm so scared of cars. And the people in them. This quartz is more on the edge than my mental fucking health. Hello. You guys are doing great work out here being scary. What? That's awful, Kimberly. That's so awful. Oh, how did you hit that? Okay, so that's my box up there to go home. There's gotta be more courts. I feel like I'm just in a really shitty part of the nether. There was a jack in the box where I used to live where a car ran through it in four separate occasions. With the same person driving the car? Because at what point do you have to wonder if that is, um, <laughs> like they were trying, that was attempted murder, I think. One of the employees that works there and this guy were not friends. What? In the drive-thru? Oh my God, that food was gas. W is a laughing face. You have to install a um, an extension onto your browser to be able to see it. Oh, bruh. I thought he was going to keep going. Oh, my God. Stop moving backwards. I'm so... I'm so shit. I'm so shit. 
Oh my god. What? I hate it here. I hate this guy. He's making fun of me with all of- Why are there every piglin ever? <gasps> no, what? What? Why are they mad? Why are they mad at me? What do you mean? I didn't even do anything! Oh, bruh. <laughs> All right, well, okay, the nether method sucks. Are these ones bad? No, these ones don't know what I've done. <laughs> oh, I thought that they were coming for me. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, true, a stray arrow must have hit when, when I was shooting at that gas. <gasps> That's so silly though. I was not intending to hit them. I was just being a baby. Are they still mad down there, do you think? Oh yeah, they're still mad. Okay, okay, okay. Um so Okay. What have we learned about the Nether method? It fucking sucks. Yo, stars, welcome in. Piglins don't know that your intentions. I mean, that's true. And sometimes, like, Intent doesn't really matter because like the action or like the the consequences for your action like you know are are more important than what your intent was. But still, I was trying to not I was not trying to shoot them. I was not aiming at them. My bad. Now we have to probably move villagers. That's okay though. What's everyone else um, doing today though? Do you guys have plans today? I'm streaming and then I have some work later. I accidentally re uh, deleted a recording that I needed so I have to go in and re-record um, a little bit um, for the create series. I like, you know, took a bunch of clips from like stuff that I was working on between episodes. Then I accidentally deleted that clip so I was like oh shoot luckily it was easy stuff though it, it's like stuff that you know it was like me breeding bunnies and stuff um so I can like easily replicate that it was just uh I, I never delete stuff that I need but for some reason yesterday when I was cleaning out like my video files I just didn't look at the dates and whew, I was pretty upset when I saw it I was like oh shit it, it was the full tree farm recording, actually, yeah. I have a crochet party uh, this afternoon with friends, and she was going to make a bubble tea? <gasps> oh, that sounds fun. Okay, so from all of that chaos, we got literally a snack in a corner. <laughs> Did some editing yesterday. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna edit tonight as well. Um, I'm gonna have to do some furnacing here, you know? What's the word? Smelting? 
I said furnacing. Furnacing is not the word. I might play Lethal Company with friends, either that or maybe I'll sit and do some writing. Nice! Did you see that video I posted yesterday, Chibi, about Minecraft Bunny AI? Hold on, let me let me find it. Let me find it so that you guys can see it because I was like, what the hell? So this is inside the little bunny house that I made. By the way, guys, new episode of the Create series came out yesterday if you haven't already seen it on YouTube. Um, but I was just chilling. I was just waiting like between the breeds like five minutes. And they were all trying to jump out the trap door. All of the bunnies were just collectively using the one brain cell. Like, this is us as a Twitch chat. This is us. We're bunny-sized people trying to fit through a trapdoor square hole. You know what I mean? Like, this is a perfect representation of Twitch chat and me. But yeah, that's that's the sort of stuff that I had in my clips for like, oh, in between episodes, I worked on blah, because I think that me and Block are going to start recording for episode three this week. Um, So next Saturday is not a create episode. Next Saturday is a long play. It's a one off long play. And I can actually show you guys <laughs> the thumbnail if you guys want to see a little a little preview. Because I I cannot keep my content secret. I have to I have to like share everything with you guys. Um, but this is the next long play that's coming out on Saturday the 30th. Um, so six days from now, this will be out on YouTube. It's like a three hour long video where you just get, we get to vibe and build this structure together. Very, it's very, very fun. Um, well, it was a good video. I really enjoyed it. And then, um, I have another long play, but I'm not going to show you guys that one yet because I've already spoiled enough today, I think. So I'm um, working on the next hardcore as well. And I'm working on the create series and in the, my evenings right now, I'm recording Stardew Valley. So a lot of stuff. I, um, I'm basically busy from 7 a.m. to like 9 p.m. right now. Actually, if you guys could see my to-do list, you'd probably throw up. My, my to-do list today has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 things on it. Um, which those are all work related tasks. That's not even like the other tasks that I want to do, like clean the kitchen. Do you take breaks? No, no. And that's why I'm miserable. <laughs> but I mean like, yes, I do take breaks, but I don't know. Sometimes. Oh, I had quartz in here, by the way. <laughs> we we could have used the quartz that was in here. I mean, obviously we will still have to get more cords, but I do take breaks and I do eat. Sometimes I eat at my computer, which is not good. I'm trying to change that habit. Um, I also, I go for an hour walk every single day. Um, that's something that I do at like dinner time. Um, it's making a huge difference. But usually I eat lunch at my desk, I eat breakfast at my desk. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. The rest of the time I'm just fucking. <laughs> but I mean, I sometimes I take like a little brain break and then I play Valorant for like an hour, but then that's usually a mistake because God, I, that game, that's usually a break or a mistake chat. Valo is a mistake. You say as you just bought a new classic yesterday. And then there's Lona. Lona with her new gun. She's like, you guys wouldn't shoot a baby, would you? You guys wouldn't shoot just a little, a little guy, would you? She 
looks like it's me. It was a B-Day gift. I couldn't say no. I mean, that's fair. Riot said, here, happy birthday. Spend all of your birthday funds on us. Let me get rid of the hamster. Okay, um, chat, are you are we cool if I take a pee break? Oh my god, Dorito. Dorito, chill. Chill. Hey, it's okay. Why do I have so much? There's even co other cords that's already in here. <laughs> Where did I get all these cords, chat? Was I already planning this for a while? That's, that is now the question. Was I, have I been planning this and past Froggy was really looking out for future Froggy here or? Yeah, Dorito has some strong feelings about going pee. He's like, um, in this economy? Not working 24 seven mom? Wow, you're really letting down the family. Is that another wandering trader? Yes, there is. Why are there so many of these guys here? <laughs> Go away. I'm gonna put a no soliciting sign outside. Oh wait, hold on. Um, I'm gonna go and this time for real AFK for gunpowder. Instead of leaving it on pause. I was just like understandably a little bit annoyed earlier. Um, and that's why I forgot to take it off pause, you know? <laughs> okay, um, here, well, I'll put you guys, do you guys want to watch mobs taking a bath? Oh, look at, look at, they're already bathing. Oh my God. All right, BRB chat. I'm going to go potty really quick. If I die, scream real loud, okay? Hold on, why are none of my BTTV emotes showing? It says that they do work. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with like the chat overlay? Sorry chat about that. I think it's the stream element side. I don't 100% know. All right. <clears throat> what day are we on? 456, we are flying chat. And really we haven't done that much. <laughs> we are flying, but we actually kind of suck, you know? Stream elements getting back at you for banning. True. I didn't think of that. Oh my god, there's so many fucking mobs. Why is it that there's one million mobs? One million trillion mobs. Ow. Iron golems take no fall damage. Is that wait, is that for real? I didn't know that. No. Sorry, I had to pee. And then somebody's car alarm was going off outside. Right? And so like Dorito heard it because the bathroom door and window were open because obviously I was in there uh, going pee and he um <laughs> he, he really didn't like that chat. <laughs> he, he had some strong words to say. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear him through the through the mute, you know? Hello.
You don't really have anything that interesting. You're not that interesting. You're not an interesting person. <laughs> not me just absolutely like tearing this villager down for no reason. You pee with the door open? I mean, it's just me and Dorito home. If Glee was here, I would close it, but it's just me and Dorito home. Well, I wasn't pooping. I poop with the door closed always, but if it's just me and Dorito home, I um, leave the door open for what I'm peeing. Um. Uh. Okay, I need some rails. Okay, so thinking about this logically, chat. Think let's let's think about this for a moment. Okay? <clears throat> Underneath we can absolutely get a couple of villagers, right? Uh, we can absolutely get a couple of villagers now, but we have to think about this for just one second. How many how many villagers do we want? Probably at least 4 stonemasons. And then probably also two farmers, right? Because then we then we can trade um, for emeralds really easily. Because we do have melon and pumpkin farms just always going over here. I know we all just talk nonstop about shitting ourselves. It's like the wildest thing. We all have some kind of poop issues. Okay, so down under here, we're gonna have some some villagers, right? Um, so I guess let's just make sure that this is very lit up. Cause I'm scared. I mean, it is, it is pretty lit up. I don't really think that we could make it any better at this point. Okay, and then do one more here. Actually, I want this to be one down. Making some cute farms on Minecraft. <gasps> Let's go. I love that. I'm so glad that any of my work inspires you guys. That song is too fucking wild. I need to take that song off this playlist. It's too much at, for 9 a.m. You know what I mean? I do love that song though. These villagers are being taken to a nature reserve. Yeah, they're going to the farm, you know? If you if you know, you know. I guess if we need more as well, we can always breed them while they're over here. Bye, Kimberly.
me me playing Sage. We're listening to weird champ hours, yeah. Oh, bruh. I need more, um, I need more rails. Time to shine. Hello, hello, welcome. How you doing? I need so many more rails. I really thought that that, like, snack and a half that I had was going to be enough. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I said to myself, oh, Chad, I won't need more than that. Like, I'm making a bunch of extra rails, so I'm fine. We have to make a painting today as well. I don't know what I want to paint today though. I don't know chat. I really, really, really want to paint Dorito at some point, but I have never felt like I was quite the right like skill for that yet. And I mean, maybe that's just something that'll happen over time, you know, where I feel more confident in my work, but then again, it is me that we're talking about. And if there's anything that it's true about me, I never exude confidence, <laughs> you know? Cynthia had an in interesting suggestion. I might have missed that, I'm so sorry. Um, what was it? I wish this guy would fuck off. I need, I need to get regular iron. Shrek portrait, a pineapple. Those are good suggestions. Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry, axolotl. No, no, no. We're not painting milking a hoglin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you guys are degenerates. <laughs> you guys are degenerates. I'm <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? I'm losing my brain cell. I'm, I'm losing it. There's only there's only a tiny bit left in there and I'm losing it. It it runs away every time you guys chat. Calcifer. Oh my god, Calcifer would be such a good one. But also, like, do you guys know that like the TikTok audio that's like what Pinterest sees me as. And then um, for some reason, it's the audio says like, Calcifer, you're so obedient. And I'm like, <laughs> a me next, I can be, I can be obedient. I could, I could do it. <laughs>
Like, excuse me? This is a children's app. You can't be putting that on here. I'm sorry. My husband's on this app. You can't just put that on here. <laughs> also, no, we are not married. I just say it sometimes. Oh my god, okay. Let's go. <clears throat> oh my god, Minecraft is gay again. Me and Shade aren't even engaged, but my mom calls him my son-in-law. Aww. Well, I feel like son-in-law just sounds so much better than, you know, my daughter's boyfriend. It's just so much more distinguished, you know? I started calling Glee my partner at a certain point because I was like, boyfriend sounds so childish to me. What are we building? A very long train track. A very, very long train track, but it's going to be for uh, villagers for the art gallery. Uh, We're currently working on the platform for the art gallery. The platform's pretty much done, but um, I want to use quartz for the actual build, so I need a way to get a lot of quartz and unfortunately for some villagers, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna mean they're gonna be living under the art gallery in a hole did you just shit take that back i don't want that why did i build it all the way over here hello oh your grandparents started calling snail their grandson oh that's sweet So, um, when we got engaged, I didn't tell my family because I wanted to tell them in person. Um, but I like obviously had to wait because we, we hadn't visited yet. So last summer when I went there, um, <laughs> I was like wanting to tell them so, so badly the very like first day. But once I got there, I realized that I had to change my plans because, um, my dad was taking off a couple days so that we could drive to my grandparents house they live about like six hours away from my dad right um so my dad was taking off um work so i was basically like oh okay you know if i just wait a couple of extra days i can then tell my grandparents as well at the same time um and that was like the hardest <laughs> secret to hold in and i ended up telling my stepsister and my stepmom and both of them did not tell my dad which was great um but i ended up like we like it was um basically like a mini family re reunion because my aunt was there my dad and my uncle and then my grandparents um and they were they started arguing about like the right way to make a potato salad <laughs> typical frog family fashion they're all right and they will fucking tell you why you're wrong you know what i mean um so like i just stood up and i was like hey guys i just wanted to tell you guys that uh glee asked me to marry him <laughs> here's the ring by the way like in the middle of them all arguing about the right way to make potato salad. <laughs> Yo, Cinnamon Bluey, welcome in. How you doing? Thank you so much. That's very kind.
Well, I just wanted to tell everyone before like we all went to bed because I was so tired. I was like the six hour difference is like a huge difference when you're used to going to bed at like 9 p.m. for them or, or 3 p.m. for them. You know what I mean? So I was barely fucking hanging on. I was like so like not coherent. And of course, you know, I was having a little bit of the adult beverage water, you know, um, <laughs> and I was just like. I was so fucking sleepy and I was like, I gotta tell him. And so I, me and Glee, I was sitting next to my grandpa. Glee is across the table sitting next to my grandma. Um, and I texted Glee, I was like, should I tell them like right now? And um, he was like, yeah, like go for it. So I just stood up, I was like, hello. <laughs> hello, <laughs> I have a very important announcement. And then, um, and then my dad says, well, I figured that's what you were going to tell us. It was either that or that you were like pregnant. You know what I mean? And I was like, um, like, how did you know? And then, um, so he called his wife to tell his wife that I'd already told that we were engaged. And, um, <laughs> he was like, Hey, like, guess what? Like Cass, Cass got engaged, you know, whatever. And then fucking his wife goes, I know. So then he's like, what do you mean you know? And he was like, yeah, she told us. And then my dad's like, my dad got this, my dad was the sand hamster and he was like, you guys knew? He was like, you guys knew this whole time and you didn't tell me? And I was like, dad, I had to tell somebody. And we were, we were buying wine and I just, I just told her. I was like, it just happened, dad. I'm sorry. Yo, Lavenders, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, um, we're gonna need that, I think. This is, this is a mess. This is a mess because I was not paying attention. But that's okay. It's fine. It'll it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Um here's what we're going to do though. Um a couple of these villagers I'm going to need to cure. So actually, yeah. Um let's get that going. Oh, okay. I apparently don't have any minecarts. I have one minecart. Where did the other minecarts go? Actually, we should just make a bunch. The funniest reaction to my engagement I got was actually my uh, hairstylist. I told her and she fucking threw her hairbrush across the room. That's adorable. I love that. I love it when people are hype for like good news. You know what I mean? Oh. Um. Oh my god, this song's a banger. Go, go, go. Go in there. Go in there, you little shitter. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, um. All right, you can go here. Go there. She had the same reaction because in the same session where she was doing my hair, I got the call that I got the job. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that. No, genuinely, like, hairstylists are, like, the, the biggest, like, W, like, hype people, you know? Uh, 
Sorry, chat. We're just uh, chilling now. We're just waiting. <clears throat> just waiting. Oh, I should probably close off that like entrance down here, right? So nothing scary can come in here and kill me while I'm chilling. The place I go to is so sweet. The owner came in like halfway through my full bleach and die and was like, have you guys eaten? No, cool. I'm buying us all pizza. And then came back with pizza. That's amazing. Hello. How are you feeling about capitalism today? I know, it kind of sucks. Like real, <laughs> real dog. All right, we're gonna need not 21 of these. We're gonna need four of those for now. Um, and then we need composters. I have one. We'll just make. Need two composters. Hopefully, we, hopefully both of these get Pumpkins and melons. Yo, Rick Cosme, welcome in. How's it going? Otherwise, we're going to be back over here. Oh, you know what? I had two stacks of rail over here in these chests. I probably could have gotten this rail and then had like enough. <laughs> Chat, do you ever wonder why I do the things that I do? I guess while we're over here, we can trade for some pumpkins and, or we can trade for some emeralds. Um, we'll mend up our hoe because it's uh, getting quite low. There we go. Oh, bro. Okay. Thank you. I have not. I think that that tweet came out after I um after I started this morning. I will though. Somebody I saw that somebody texted it to me on Discord. Oh, that's the stone one. And then pumpkins. Did I hear that this guy cured? He did. Okay. All right, um, wait, 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 wait. Happy time zone, Sketch, welcome. I drew a picture of Harvey from Stardew Valley, but people keep telling me it looks like Pedro Pascal. I don't see the problem. Oh, Clovis Scottish? That's amazing. I didn't know that. Maybe it's Harvey cosplaying as Pedro. I mean, I th that's fair though. I, I would be annoyed if something like, um, or if someone um, kept seeing something that I like didn't intend to be seen. Okay, we're all vibing, we're all chilling. No, no, we're not going back that way. We're going this way. In the morning, we're going out. I 
here, spider. I need to sleep. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, George. All right, let's get all these villagers. Hopefully. Hopefully this part goes goes well. My mental health can't handle otherwise. Okay, um I need you No, 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 no. No. Yo, Vicky, hello, welcome in. Um, in what fucking world is that where I'd want you to go? throw up. out there with your ugly friend. No, not the child. <laughs> Why is this thing always picking up the kids? It's not even fair, like... <laughs> okay. It'll all be fine. No need to have any frog crafting feelings about this. It's all fine. Basement, welcome in. How you doing? He did do that on purpose, genuinely. This guy was like, you know what? You don't seem like you're angry, but I'm about to change that. <laughs> They deserve a better life than living in the glass box. I mean, they're not gonna live in a glass box. At least in the glass bo box you can see out. <laughs> Where they're going is, oh well. Oh no, oh no, they got stuck somewhere and they're all, they're all on the way back. No, 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 no. <laughs> go, go that way. That way is the way you're meant to go. What happened? Yo, RC, welcome in. How you doing, love? Clove mating? Absolutely. Okay. I just want to know what happened that made them all come back. No, never, never, never. I would never do that. 
chat. Never, never, never. Um, it's not my fault he volunteered and didn't read the rules, you know? It's his fault. Bro, how did you get back here? This is the third time you've come back. Second time. Go, go! He missed me so much. He's not gonna miss me when he lives in a fucking bug infested underground hut the rest of his life actually well he won't stay there forever once we're done building he'll go somewhere else probably to heaven um that has nothing to do with me though you know it's just tough times chat we gotta downsize you know our ceo really needed a new yacht this year so uh, we we got to downsize. Unfortunately, you know. <laughs> what are the? How can you put a price on the the work of fifty thousand people? You know, when your CEO needs a, a new yacht, it's expensive out there. No, you know, and on a year where we've you know received record profits, like it's only natural that our CEO gets a, a little treat. You know, for you, it's a overpriced coffee. For, for him, it's a yacht. This guy really, like, wants me bad. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I said. I think he wants me bad. <laughs> Weird villager. Oh my god, jam. Tell that villager I'm, I'm hot and ready like a little Caesar's pizza. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, did everyone make it? It does appear- Oh, the child grew up! Oh, perfect. Now we can beat the child labor allegations. Because we didn't actually make them work yet. Naruto King, welcome in. Wasn't so bad in the glass box, was it? Thanks for the lurk, I appreciate that. For anyone who's just getting in, we are currently just moving some villagers. Uh, Cause we've got a lot of quartz to grind out. Um, so we have two farmers to trade melons and pumpkins with for uh, just a renewable supply of emeralds over here. Uh, hopefully they both have those trades, otherwise I'm going to literally jump off a bridge.
And then the rest are going to be stonemasons, so we can trade quartz with them. why I put that so far away from them. We do now have the villagers. They just don't have jobs yet. Oh, this guy took one. We'll go get a bunch of stuff to trade with him. I know this song's also a jam. This song feels like that time of spring when it's just about to become summer, but not quite summer yet. That's a very specific feeling, I understand, but... That's what the song feels like to me. Ow. You know what I mean, right, RC? Like it's it's just a very like big vibes in a good way. Let me throw all of this like throwaway shit for a moment. Actually, redstone shit should probably have the redstone torches, right? <gasps> Request me, thank you so much for the hydrate. Let me do that right now. Okay. Thank you for that, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, we've got some of this. We have a little bit of potato edge. But we can get more from over there. Oh, you know what we should do? We need rockets. How was your weekend, RC? What did you get up to this weekend? I hope it was a good one. I was just um <clears throat> very busy, very busy weekend. Lots of things to do, mostly work related. Mostly work related. Did you trade change your trades? Both I don't want I I need you to understand. I would really prefer like not a bread trade. Or beetroot. Like no bread, no beetroot. Yeah, this is fine. This is also fine. Okay, potato or pumpkins? Okay, he has pumpkins. He didn't get pumpkins. Um, Will he get melons? Because that's really annoying that you didn't get pumpkins. I'm actually like pretty pissed off. He did get melons. I should have left the rail, the track, until I made sure that both farmer villagers had pumpkins and melons. 
What if he doesn't have melons? I'm gonna throw up. If I need to, I will, um, I will breed them and then let a zombie kill a new one. I was drawing. Oh, what were you working on? Playing Minecraft and most of the mods that I'm using to start got updated. Let's go. So I updated my NPC mod and finally played the new update. Nice. Are you liking the new update? I've been really, really enjoying it. I've been recording for 100 days of Stardew Valley. I've been really, really enjoying it. Okay, good. At least we have one good villager. Well, you know, is this fine? Is this fine? Is this fine if like let's let's think like long term here. We can trade wheat with both of them, which is 13 wheat. So one, like one and a little bit hay bales. To get emeralds. Oh. RC, what? what do you mean? <laughs> what? RC out here being sussy? Like what the, what in the hell? Polished diorite, we'll take a bunch of that. Let's make a bunch of flower pots as well, because I just feel like that's going to be something that we need a ton of. Thank you. Okay, chat, <clears throat> hear me out. There is something really satisfying about this pattern of terracotta when you have it going the right way. Maybe we'll use this in the art gallery. Hearing that made me so nervous for some reason. What do you mean? What do, what do you mean, friend? The hear me out part made you nervous? I When would I say something sus? <laughs> I would never. Okay, but that's different, you know? That's DM. DMs are DMs, you know what I mean? In chat, I would never be sus. I'm just a baby. Cyan terracotta is kind of a vibe. Maybe we can use this in the city. Well, sketchy, that clip is not findable. <laughs> did, wait, did you clip? Sketchy, did you clip, uh, tell that villager I'm hot and ready like a little Caesar's pizza? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Sketchy? Oh, 
Oh, this green glazed terracotta is so pretty as well. How does this one work? Oh, I love it. I actually think I like this one better than that one. I think that I like this one better than this one. Although this one is also pretty. The lime is very, very pretty. Like unexpectedly pretty. I, I'm also a big fan of the blue, like the light blue. But I, I don't like it for the art gallery. Yo, Milena, welcome in. How's it going? Okay. He has also gray terracotta. I haven't finished leveling this one yet. But maybe we can get a little bit more. Oh god. Oh bruh. Figure it out, sir. You're making me nervous. Making me think my whole computer was lagging for a second. There we go. Orange and light blue terracotta. I don't know if I like light blue terracotta that much. Orange is good though. Okay, we got some quartz. This guy has quartz as well. Okay, cool. So they're all mostly leveled up. Let's go sleep really quick. Oh, no, no, we're not like matching patterns. I was just looking at what the terracotta looked like. Um, I, I was just getting quartz sketch. Like, genuinely just getting quartz. Yeah. I'm thinking long term, though, in terms of, like, city building. What texture pack is this? This is Mizuno's 16 craft and a couple of other ones. Um, but if you do exclamation point frog mods, you can see a whole list. Hold on, chat. I saw this, um, this picture on Reddit. Let me send it to myself really quickly. This is not my build. This was in mine, the Minecraft builds subreddit. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, but like for our city, for like the affluent part of the city with like the shops and like the shopping streets, I'm thinking like shop fronts that sort of look like this. Of course, like a couple of them will be more like traditional, like Christmas village style shops. Like think very infinite drift style, like very infinite drift, like core, you know? But a couple of them will also be like this. And I'm thinking for these like top parts of the buildings, like sometimes using terracotta, just like pulling in different colors into the city. Okay, Glee. See you in a bit. Drive safe. Love you. But yeah, I, I'm constantly looking at inspo for this this city and this build. Um, even if we haven't fully started it yet, just just trust me on this. I'm like always looking at it. <laughs> I promise. I am. Um, I really want to get better at building, and this is something I'm trying to do with no planning, uh, which is really big for me because I usually plan all my builds so that I can feel a lot more comfortable with like the final results but um you know here we are yo 
cha cha hello hello I think this one and this one and then these ones are already done right okay cool I do think we're gonna get rid of this I do think we're gonna get rid of this I think it takes away like it's supposed to be raised up on its own you know what I mean um, let me get rid of some of this just absolute fucking junk crowding our inventory. What's this platform for? It's for our art studio. So I'm completely running out of space in the starter house for paintings. Um, and I want to start moving stuff into the art studio. Um, to move stuff into the art studio, though, obviously we have to build it. Um, so... At the end of the 12 hour stream, we started building up this platform. So it's like a raised sort of like rounded rectangle. Um, there's gonna be like a, a big staircase that goes up to it. I just haven't built it yet. It will be an art studio eventually. Um, it won't be an art studio today. Um, we're just making sure that the platform is a good size. Cause once, um, once we have like a good foundation for it, I think that I'm gonna start counting. Um, because I, I do want it to be two, this is going to sound very, very scary. I want it to be two stories high and I also want it to have the ability to go underground as well. Um, so it is going to be a little bit larger than our typical builds. Um, so like think this whole thing in the middle, right? Um, would all be art studio. So... Let's just say like from right here and it would obviously not be just a square. It would have like shape. Um, let's say to like right here, that's like where the art studio is and it would be, you know, coming down this way and then maybe going out a little bit and then like this, right? Cause I want, I want there to be space for garden and a walkway outside basically. So like think of that whole shape, like, you know, going back out and then going in and then all the way over here and then kind of mirrored on the other side. Think of that whole shape as the entire thing. And that's going to be uh, a lot of quartz, a lot of glass um, for the art studio and or for the for the, the art gallery. And then it'll have multiple floors and then a um, basement as well. So you can go up up a floor, down a floor, all that stuff, as we need to keep adding like art and stuff. Um, and then around it, there's gonna be flower fields and pathway and like benches and trees and stuff. How ma how long am I gonna stream for? I usually stream for about three more hours on Sundays. So we'll, we're about halfway through our stream right now. Yeah, it's a big build. It's gonna take a while, but that is the idea, at least that I have right now. I haven't started sketching um, for like how I actually want the arts art studio to look, but I am assuming it's going to be like a big rectangular building. And I am assuming that it'll be um, mostly made of like glass and stuff and, and quartz. But we're to get there, we're going to have a long journey chat because we've got to bring down all this terrain and that some sometimes is a little bit of a pain in the ass yo raven welcome in how you doing
I'm just going to cover this up because I'm scared. Not staying long as I need to sleep. No worries. No worries. All good. I hope you're doing okay. And welcome in. Thanks for, for dropping in and saying hello. Starting to make some actual progress. You know, I feel like that's the part that feels really good is when you can finally actually see that you're making progress. And of course you can see as you like build stuff, but you know, from where we started this morning, I did not know if we were gonna get to like where we are today already. And I don't know, I just feel, I feel good about it. Um, But soon we are also probably gonna, um. If you guys are cool with it, I will probably AFK um, in between the next time that we stream in this world. So in between now and Friday, I will probably AFK um, to get some more gunpowder. And then um, we can also go netherite mining because I want to get the rest of our tools upgraded as well. We're just holding ourselves back basically by not having the rest of it being another right. Yeah, I, I closed that off, but then there's this like whole section right here. Whoops. It was just completely open. <laughs> Yo, Sabine, welcome in. How you doing? Only been VODs for a while. Totally understandable. Hope that everything is going well, even if it was like a little bit busy. Nice to see you though. Yo, country. Thank you so much for the posture check. Let me do that. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the quiet hellos. Haven't been reading those out today, but enjoy your lurk. I appreciate you all. How far do I want to bring this down? Like, is it okay if it comes to here? But just so that it's not like directly at the same level. This might be okay. I don't know, let's, let's do a little bit of a test, right? And get rid of all that stone. I appreciate your guys' feedback on this. Because really, I don't consider this to be my world. I sort of consider it to be our world. So I am going to be putting a release, uh, like a download up uh, for the world download when we get to a 1,000 days. So for Twitch subs um, and Discord supporters, you guys will be able to download this world and walk through it yourselves if you want to. I don't know what will happen to the paintings. Um, while we're, um, when you guys download it, I don't know what will happen to them. I don't know if they're tied to player data or not. So if the art is not there, it's not my fault. I have really amazing news. On Friday, I'm flying to Japan with my partner and his family. Oh my gosh. Are you guys going on like a little vacation or are you like moving? 
that is huge news indeed. I hope you guys have a good time if it's a vacation. Also, if you're moving, I hope it goes uh, super well. I hear a zomb. A zomb zomb. I'm scared. But we're about halfway to a thousand days right now. So that will be coming up like before we even know it. Yeah, I think that does look a lot better. Okay. So I guess now we have to decide, do we want to do stone or do we want to do wood? Normally on this kind of a wall, I would do wood behind. Vacationing for a couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, how exciting. I hope you guys have the best of time. Why is that guy trying to... Two pump, two for one is not happening. I'm sorry, but that's just too expensive. <laughs> My baby boy patient just pissed everywhere when I opened his diaper to change him. Oh, yeah. Rip. Girls are not this unhinged. No. I think stone will fit more. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's just grab a couple of these, right? Oh, bruh. Oh, I think I can take one stone and make it into one stair, yeah. Okay, so let's remove that part. Scion terracotta, yeah, it's pretty. Um, I'm not gonna be using it like for this build, but I was just, they have cyan terracotta. So I was just buying it and seeing what it looked like. I definitely think for some stuff in the city, we'll use some terracotta, like stone base and then colorful wall on top kind of vibes. And you had to change his bedding, his clothes and even his socks. Oh my gosh, no. That's like a number one nightmare for like having a, a baby. Like, what do you do when they do that? I mean, obviously you just like have to keep like moving forward, I guess. <laughs> well, like, God damn. Yeah, 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 for like the affluent part of the city. But I also think like the, the rustic part can get a little bit of those like colorful buildings, but they're obviously just a lot smaller. Cry inside, take a deep breath, and then fix it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right. We got one whole, <laughs> one whole sapling from that. That's <laughs> all right. Let's just wait for our saplings. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Yeah, like yellow or orange. Yeah, yellow, orange, green. I'm thinking for like the the farmer kind of side. Um. 
and then we'll have like the the more richer the, the richer colors like the blue the you know the ones that you would have to like import dye for on the other side thousand percent The tower's cute. Thank you. It was from a tutorial, actually. Um, it's a greenhouse mob farm. So at the top, there is like an on off switch inside this greenhouse that you can just go down and then you can turn it on and off. Um. Oh, Sabi, thank you so much for the prime. I have pizza for dinner. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Enjoy the pizza, lovely. What kind of pizza is it? And then inside you have... um. A bunch of spawning platforms for the mobs that goes down into yeah you know the actual farm itself uh, but i followed a tutorial for this it took me seven hours it was a very long tutorial um but i will um if you guys want the tutorial link let me know i'll, I'll also be like posting it in the vod description um but this is i just changed up a few things to make it a little bit like more my own but yeah otherwise I just wanted something pretty because you can see it from my house. You know what I mean? I didn't want to figure out my own design for that. But um, you can see it from the front window. There we go. Streamer question. Where do you get your sound files for alerts? Like the alerts for like uh, sub raid, all that stuff. Um. I personally have, um, I pay for licensing um, sounds from Epidemic Sounds. Um, that's also where I get all my music for YouTube. Um, but that's, um, you can like um, whitelist um, certain channels. So like Instagram, Twitch, YouTube um, with Epidemic Sound. And um, that's what I did. Just that, so that we'd have a little bit of like magical sounds, you know? I don't think we're gonna, hey, hi sweetheart. I don't think we're gonna get more than four. That's fine though. All right, let's go see how the wood looks. Um, I'm gonna say I don't really like the stone. Um, maybe it just needs some texture, but I really don't like the stone by itself. But if I was gonna do wood, I would basically do like stripped like spruce Yeah, this is very, I've done this kind of design a lot. It's very classic. I mean, it's possible if we added some andesite and cobblestone to that, it might look better. I don't know if I have any andesite or cobblestone. We have a little bit of cobblestone. In vanilla, andesite would fuck here, but I don't know if it will. Dead coral. I'm not a big fan of dead coral. Could you go deep slate? Um, we could try deep slate. Yeah, we could we could do another one of deep slate. Let me get some more. Yo, Smushy. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Which one do you want? to try um sketch do you think like deep slate bricks deep slate tiles i have that same uh problem with pierre honestly space cadet i just i think he's greedy all right let's deep slate tile it up 
Hi, sweetheart. How's it going? How was the... How was the race? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was good. Well, you said it was bad. Okay. Well, we will next time. Um, that's probably fine. Is uh going fine. Look, we we did a lot so far. We've got um this whole thing well torched up and like it's all even now. And then we worked on um uh, sorry, chat talking to my partner. We're working on the wall around it right now. He was watching Formula One. Will be. Yeah, he was uh he was pretty sad that his guy didn't win. <laughs> I don't dislike the deep slate. I'm just wondering if it's too dark. Because think about, okay, so up here on top, right? I, I, think about this with me. Everything up top is going to be quartz and light gray stained glass. For anyone who doesn't know what light stay, or light gray stained glass looks like in Mizuno's, it looks like this. So it's going to be very, very, very white on top. Now, normally you could have contrast in colors and it looks fine. I just don't know if that's too much of a contrast. Mm. Yeah. What? I wasn't talking to you. I know. I was just lying to you. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. You stink. You stink bad. It's okay, he'll win the next one. That's what I just said to him. I was like, he'll win the next one. It's fine. He's won like multiple years in a row. It's fine if he doesn't win this time, but he probably will. Calcite? You think calcite behind, behind the stone? Yeah, exactly, exactly. 43 races in a row. Maybe wait until you started some buildings at the top. Um, we could do that sketch, but that means that I have to start building. And I don't want to build today. I just want to work on the wall today. <laughs> I want to work on the wall today. We could do like a little, uh, we could do a little test building. Okay. Well, we'll do a little test building. So, so you guys can see what I mean. Dirt. I got jump scared by the Shrek in the corner. <laughs> we should go get a sandwich from Samway. Are these custom textures or mods? Um, some of them are custom textures. Like this is a CIT. Um, but the, the actual people are from a mod. And then I have a painting mod as well. But those are the only two mods that are in this world. Um, the paintings and the, the the statues. The rest is um, custom textures. What are you building? Um, we're working on the platform for where the art gallery is going to go today. Also, I need to sleep so my villagers don't fucking die. We just kind of mess around in this world. I'm trying to get better at building on the fly. Normally I like plan everything. So this world is just me trying things and hoping that they work. Um, we did specifically pick this seed because it's a huge flower forest. Um, and we do have a big plan for this world. So as you can see, this is, um, this is actually a plan we made with the chat a couple, probably like, I don't know, three or four, no, 10 streams ago. Almost 10 streams ago. I don't know. Um, it's It's been a while. But we basically have like a bunch of ideas for making like a whole little, you know, town inside this flower forest. And that's like long term what we're just working on. Yeah, no worries, Dappy. Thank you, Lopi. I appreciate that. 
But if you guys haven't seen this world before, we can do a little quick world tour. So this is our starter house. Um, it's just like an old English cottage kind of vibes. We have, you know, the frog crafting YouTube channel here um on tv we've got our painting room which we're running out of space for paintings in that's why we are making the um we're, we're making the art gallery so we can start moving paintings over um we've got like a big chest room that's kind of a mess it needs to be expanded really badly upstairs we have our bedroom um there's a closet up here there's oh tea still taking a shit we got like a little balcony out back is that a rat? Um, this? No, it's a Christmas frog farting cutely. Um, we don't talk about it. Anyways, um, then out here we started working on, you know, just some basic, like very basic stuff. We've got an iron farm, um, and like a collection area with an auto sorter back here. Um, we've got a barn for all of our animals, just some sheep and some cows and, um, some llamas that are very sus. We've got a melon and pumpkin farm underneath this windmill here and then a bunch of crop fields back here. Um, we've got a little graveyard for the animals that we have lost so far, like all of our sheep from before we moved. Well, when we were moving them into the barn, a creeper got in with them and yeah, um, that was not good. Over there, we have a mob farm that I built from a tutorial. Um, if you guys want the tutorial link, let me know. And then we have a you know, a villager area. And then we have like a sandwich shop over this way as well. So this is our Samway. Um, this, we are legally obligated to have a Samway inside of this world. Uh, it's under our contract. As you can see, Samway, Samway Enterprises. Um, they have a value menu if you guys are interested. And this store is owned by Sam Hitch. He's also the only employee and fucking stripper shack shrek is still checking out over here god the service here sucks i'm i'm leaving you a one star on yelp all right um here is the mob farm tutorial <laughs> But yeah, this is our little sandwich shop. We've got, you know, little little ham sandwich. And then back here, as you can see, very spacious break room. There's even a place where the employees can sit, um, sit down on their break. Um, this is also the room that serves as a refrigeration unit. And it also has a, um, you know, the cooking unit as well for cooking all the meat and then refrigerating it. So as you can see, um, multi-purpose room <laughs> very spacious where's the manager um he's right here his name is sam hitch yeah no this is this is not my skin this is lucy's skin as you guys can see this is a real um this is a real java skin that somebody has um i guess shrek had a long night out you know doing whatever he was doing are the custom textures available anywhere um so the custom textures are from mizuno cit thank you rc i have a whole list of all the mods and the texture packs that i'm using in this world But yeah, that's uh that's basically that's basically it. I need to make a flower farm, I think, for light gray dye. Yo, Lucas, welcome in. How's it going? But for now we can just use tulips. There we go. Okay, so where's all my smooth quartz? There. You had dinner earlier? Nice. I hope it was delicious. Um, hello? 
Like, where did my rocket go? Okay, so let's just imagine that this is one little section of the art gallery, right? So the basic idea is that it will be like floor to ceiling windows, except for in the corners where the pillars are. The textures themselves aren't available. I'm not sure what you mean. The texture pack Mizuno's, like if you mean the general pack, that that's free and that's available. The CIT is also free. Um and it's all linked in that um in that card. Oh bruh. I see the CRT is in the mod list, but the, all the mod does is allow the textures to be custom without Optifine. Yeah, so so CIT resown allows C, the Mizuno CIT to work, um, but it's all linked on that page. So underneath the mods, you have all of the CIT mods and then the resource packs are down here. So there's Mizuno CIT, the invisible item frames and Mizunos as well as everything else that I use, um, the shaders, the data packs, etc. This needs to be like way bigger. Yeah, no, no problem. It's fine, Milby, all good, all good. It happens. I'm, sh I'm not sure what the birchwood is supposed to like. What do you mean? Yeah, no worries. Good luck. Good luck. Hope you have a good time studying. Good luck. All right, so we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. What kind of pizza was it? I'm so interested. I love pizza. Okay. Um. Oh, bro. I didn't mean to do that. All right, so let's just pretend that this is like one little part of the the actual art gallery, right? So it'll it'll look something like this. I haven't decided what we're going to do as the the roof, although the roof may end up being made out of prismarine because we don't have any gold blocks. Um but I did say I didn't want blue, so oh god, this is going to be tough. Maybe copper? Maybe, maybe like the green version of copper. I don't know. And out of those, I still think I like the wood the best for behind. I still think that looks just very classic. And I feel like this design, like with the wood, 
because if we if we don't even think about the building if we think about in general i feel like the wood design can be used in multiple places but this is going to be like the basic you know premise of how this whole thing looks is going to be you know almost like a big greenhouse um but like it'll be fancier Oh, in here. Green terracotta. I don't know how I feel about terracotta as a roof in Mizuno's. Just because it has that border. Um, and if if you haven't seen it before, um, it has a border around it like this. Um, and it, that, I don't know if that looks good on a roof. For the wall arches, maybe outline in deep slate in a center stripe in calcite. Wait, for, for like down here, change the entire thing to deep slate and then do calcite in the middle. I don't know if that's going to be like, if that's going to look right everywhere in the town. Oh, for the wall. Yeah, no, no. I'm trying to keep it very neutral because um, this wall design is going to be repeated throughout the town. It's not just going to be over here at like the art gallery. Um, and this, this side of the flower forest is like very rich and affluent and this side is like very rustic. Um, like over here, there's going to be like a big farmer's market and like all sorts of like other stuff as well. So I want to, I want to keep something that's easily replicable, but also, you know, fits in multiple parts of the town. Yo, Bia. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Just margarita. It was from a really nice little restaurant near my house. Nice. I love that. I've never, um, I don't know if I've ever had like a genuine Italian pizza. I'm, um, I'm from New York, so I'm, I miss my pizza from back home. Pizza in Europe so far, at least in the Netherlands has not been as good as pizza back home. What's your favorite thing that you've built? Uh, probably my auto sorter from my YouTube world. Um, that thing is amazing. But in this world, uh, probably my starter house. Really, really like the starter house vibes. Let me go sleep really quick. Yeah, no worries, RC. Enjoy the breakfast. It's been forever since I typed in chat. Not the Shrek. I uh, just wanted to say hi and tell everyone have a good day slash night. No problem. Thank you, Jojo Boo. Hope you're also having a good day. We're going to have to chop so much spruce wood, though. Do you think about it? I'm scared. Oh, bruh. I'm sorry to hear that, Lucas. I don't think you're alone in that. Okay, got lots of... I think I'm gonna also buy quartz pillars. Cause I just feel like those will probably be necessary up top.
we're gonna be trading though forever, I think. To get enough quartz. <laughs> this is gonna take a very long time, chat. Not to mention all the wood we're gonna have to chop. Which I mean is fine. That's just part of the grind, right? This is part of the game. You could go to the nether. We tried that at the beginning of the stream. We spent an hour there and got almost none. Um, so we decided that we would trade for our, for it from villagers, which is a little bit faster if we keep on top of it. Yeah, we uh we did the the villager or we did the <laughs> the other route. Uh, it was not fun. It was a uh, not very fun, not very comfy, not very cozy either, to be honest. Yeah, I think um I think that this is this is the way it chat. I think that this looks good. Like with a bigger section, I feel like it looks it looks like it was m like meant to be like that. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? Yeah, I have um I have like thousands of hours in Stardew Valley. And um right now every other stream is either Stardew Valley or Minecraft. So we are currently working on a year 3 perfection farm. Um we are at almost 70% perfection on our our Stardew Valley playthrough, but of course the the new update just came out, so we may have um, some setbacks. Um, I haven't um, I haven't checked yet. And I just started recording a 100 days of Stardew Valley for my second channel. Um, so my first video on the second channel will be coming out this year. Um, I'm currently recorded through day 10, which I'm very excited about. Hopefully, hopefully the video does well. I'm having a blast. <laughs> I'm having a blast even if it flops, you know? Yeah, the I, so I started a new farm for the 100 days of Stardew Valley and it's really, really, really fun. Sorry, uh, I was like scratching my face. It's really, really fun from starting a brand new farm. Um, I'm hoping that it's also fun for <laughs> my, my current playthrough. Um, uh, my Twitch playthrough, but we'll be we'll be starting that tomorrow, or we'll be we'll be diving in tomorrow during tomorrow's stream. Oh my God, I love this song. It's really, really fun so far though. I started a new farm on the Meadowlands farm. It's weird having chickens, you know what I mean? Sorry, spoiler, if you guys didn't know, there's a new farm type. Um, very, it's very, very interesting though. It changes the way that I approached early game. I'm excited to play tomorrow. I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited to see how it interacts with like an older playthrough, the update. Um, obviously like, you know, certain things we'll probably miss cause we're, I, I think we're halfway through spring. So we've probably missed like at least one festival. I played on my save for 19 hours. Oh my gosh, yeah, no. The the save that we have for Twitch, we've played like easily like 120 hours, I think already. 
What names did you get for the chickens? Um, so funnily enough, I got uh, Portobello and Porcini, which I think is actually hilarious because like my entire brand is a frog in a mushroom hat. Like I, I thought that that was so fucking funny. Yeah, I'm so I'm super excited. One of my goals in um in the hundred days um of Stardew Valley video is to get a second pet. Um, so my I, my goals are completing the community center um in year one, and um doing, sorry. Um, maybe getting to Ginger Island. I don't know. And then getting an, uh, a pet. I really want to try one of the new pet types. All right. We'll let those grow back up. Don't think we're going to get any more saplings from there. Oh, we did get one from here. That's fine. Yeah, I know so many people were happy about like the black cat. Um. I wish that there was a dog that looked more like my dog in the game, but that's okay. I'm still excited that there are any pets. Oh, it actually goes here. Do you play on mod packs? Um, th this is a texture pack, yeah. It's lightly modded. Um, if you do exclamation point frog mods, you can get a whole list of everything that I'm using in the world. What's your favorite pet to start with? I always start with a dog. I'm allergic to cats in real life. Um, so I've always like preferred to be with dogs. I don't dislike cats though. I just, um, I just prefer dogs. Hi, sweetheart. I don't... Sorry, chat. Just talking to the fiance, you know. Sometimes as it goes. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Gotta remove that. I can't reach up there. <laughs> Chad, I can't reach up there. I'm too short. When are you getting married? I don't know yet. Um, It's a little bit difficult to figure out the logistics of getting married when you live internationally from your family. Um... But um, mostly because my grandparents are getting older and they they can't make, you know, the journey um, over to Europe. So um, we're trying to save money to have weddings in both places, which is expensive. Nice. Let's go, Lona. Love to see that productivity. And then you get to reward yourself with a nice little sweet little treat, a.k.a. Stardew Valley. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. I just gotta fix that up there, but I can do that from the outside. Yeah, I like it, chat. Honestly, I think it, I think it looks good.
Welcome back, RC. Welcome back. You were procrastinating a lot, but it wasn't that bad. Well, I'm glad that you got it done. You know, sometimes we just need to like force ourselves to do it and then we realize it's not that bad, but it can feel really bad, you know? Like, I can feel like it's too much sometimes. My mother-in-law got married in America. We can afford to go, so we FaceTimed in. Yeah. Honestly, a good way to try to to try to be there. Yeah, Lona, I, um, <clears throat> it's, it's hard. It's hard to have to, like, think about those things. I mean, the weird thing is, is that I wasn't thinking about that when I moved. Like, I knew that I wanted to marry him, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking of it in that way. Does that make sense? I don't know. Just, like, a weird little... Yo, Frog is Magical. Welcome in. How's it going? I've been doing some painting lately. For now, I have cheap art supplies, um, which are okay. But when they finish, I have to upgrade. Oh, that would be fun. Art supplies can be so expensive, but worth it, you know? Although you can still make great art with cheaper supplies. Could you do a registry wedding in the US? I don't know what that is. Thank you, Clarice. Yo, Dis, welcome in. Yeah, yeah, of course. I wasn't thinking long term of like where we would end up and where we would live and stuff. I was just thinking like it was too hard, you know, to like be so far away and like expect to build a relationship that we could marry for you know at least for me some people are able to do long distance maybe easier than i was i had a really rough time um like i had a really really rough time with long distance it was not good i mean that's fair lucas i mean sometimes sometimes it goes like that Sometimes when, when I feel that way, I just don't do anything for a couple days. And then, you know, once I'm feeling a little bit better, then I, then I worry about being productive. Yeah, no, genuinely. Yeah, no, it was not a good experience for me. Like, well, it was also like partially time zones related for us. Like he was six hours ahead of me. So I was going to sleep earlier and he was staying up later. Um, and we were both just not like on normal schedules for people that like live and worked in the places that we lived and worked. It was like one of those things where it's like just things that I didn't really consider before that became really, really tough, you know? What are we building? Um, we're currently working on a platform that will one day 
have an art studio standing on top of it, but we're just kind of working on the platform today because I don't really want to start building the art studio today. Oh my god, this song is such a jam. What time is it for you? It's um, exclamation point time, I think, is the, the command. Um, but it's currently almost one o'clock in the afternoon for me. Yeah, so if we come up here, you can see it's a very, very large platform. Um, on top, there's going to be an art gallery and then like a pathway and some like little gardens and trees and stuff. Um, and this wall design is a wall design that we'll probably use in other parts of the, the town as well. But um, I just wanted to try to perfect it. Uh, well, not necessarily like perfect it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just wanted to try and like see if I actually like liked it, you know? I do like Taylor Swift. I'm going to see her in July. Very excited for the new album as well. What's the spectator mode mod? It's called free cam. Also linked in the, the card. Leave me alone. Long distance is hard for me because I miss him. And I miss out on the little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've lived on my own for 10 years and it's my first relationship. That's fair, that's fair. Like giving yourself like adjustment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, um, I'm a very like solitary person. I always have been. Um, So being in a relationship is like also like some, kind of one of those weird things for me where I'm like, I don't like need this person like up my ass all the time, but long distance um, is different because it's like there's just no option to have your person around, you know? Um, well, and for us, I mean, I was flying back and forth or he was flying back and forth. And, you know, back then it was still, you know, even if you bought tickets months in advance, eight or nine hundred dollars each time and that's just it wasn't sustainable you know what i mean you know to have him for a week and then not see him for three or four months or sometimes up to five or six months depending on like my work schedule his work schedule and at that time i only got two weeks off um a vacation for work so if i wanted to take more time than two weeks a year i would have to take unpaid time which was also just like a killer you know Sorry, I'm like taking a bite out of my lunch. That's why I'm paused. Give me one sec.
Okay. We're gonna have to definitely go chop more spruce wood. <laughs> spruce wood is gonna be probably the limiting factor for a while. Yeah, flying is so expensive. And back then I felt like it was cheaper than it is now even, you know? But, um, you know, I, I do feel lucky. I feel lucky that I met him at the time of my life where I met him because I was in a position where I had some money saved and I was able to, you know, make the move. And he was also in a position with his career that, you know, helped. So, um, if I had met him even three years earlier, I probably would have never moved here. How long do you plan to stream today? Two more hours. Fast Leaf Decay data pack? Yeah, I, th I thought that I had the Fast Leaf Decay data pack. I don't know why it's not working. I'm pretty sure it's under the data packs that I downloaded. I'm Lucas, I'm so sorry, but like, I don't know. I don't know how we can help with that. I, I, I've told you this before. I, I feel, I'm so sorry like that you're going through something, but I don't know how we can help. I, I'm just here to play my little Minecraft game and, and vibe. Um, if you're genuinely struggling, please reach out to somebody in person that can help you. We are all strangers on the internet and there there is help out there if you can, you know, find it or somehow get it. Or if you have like a trusted friend IRL that might be able to help, but we are we are all strangers here, darling. And I don't want you to be having a bad time while you're here, but I, I just, I don't know how I can help. One time I was here for a week or two and then when I was time to leave, we were both sobbing and we were like, should I stay for another week? And you just missed your flight. So, so how, like, did you just like call them and be like, oh, sorry, I forgot. Like, did, did you have to just pay for a new flight? Yeah, we do have a help command. But don't, don't underestimate, you know, people in real life that also like care about you. If you can like reach out to them as well. And it's not, it's not because I don't care about your problems. I just, I'm just a streamer. I, um... I don't know how I can help. And if you're genuinely struggling, I don't want you to, you know, not get the help that you need. I have COVID. Oh, so, so you lied to them. You said, oh, I, I couldn't fly because I have COVID. And you're like, can I reschedule? <laughs> Lona, you were gaslighting the airlines? <laughs> No, I mean, I would have done the same thing. In my, um, in my first time that I visited the Netherlands, um, <clears throat> I remember, um, I called my boss because he was asking me about like, you know, when you come back, do you want to work on like this day? I'm so sorry to bother you on your vacation, but I, I need to help and I know it's your day off. And so I was like, sure, like not a, not a big deal. And he was like, you sound really, really happy. And I was like, I am really, really happy. He's like, no, I've never heard you sound this happy in your entire life. And how long have I known you? And I was like, okay. And he goes, are you even coming back? Should I just take you off the schedule? <laughs> And I was like, I'm coming back. 
but after that first time that I visited, I like, it was like one of my last days here and I didn't want to make it awkward in case he didn't want me to move here. But like, I sort of like forced a conversation where I was like, okay, so what are we? Like, <laughs> how are we feeling about this? I, I was just sitting there. I was like this. I was like, so should I move here or do you want to move to me? Are we doing this? And um, then we like seriously started talking about it. Like we seriously started talking about looking at one of us moving after that point. Then obviously was the months and months and months of saving and, you know, filing paperwork and applying and stuff like that. Like there was also like a big long process that went with it. But now I live here. Very weird to think about. Hi, Dorito. Hi. Hi, Dorito. Hi. Hi, Dorito. Hello. Hi, stinky boy. What's up? Everyone, here's your puppy paws. Welcome back, Lagoth. Sorry about Max. You know, suddenly we have 31 spruce saplings where earlier we were fighting God for them. I'm going to plant some more back over here as well. Because we used to have a ton of spruce trees over here, and then somebody came over here, and I'm not saying it was Lona, um, but it definitely wasn't Fiona, if you know what I mean. Somebody came over here and took all my spruce wood. Oh my god. RC. That's nasty. Apologize. <laughs> you guys are something else, you know? Just constantly rooting and tooting. Okay, chat. Quickly, I'm gonna take a like break because I'm gonna go pee pee and wash my hands and stuff. Oh my god, sketchy. That was disgusting. I, I didn't say that I was gonna go poo poo. I was going pee pee. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of mob bath time. Mob bath time. You know, as we do. Uh, let's go into free cam so we can watch them take a little bath. All right, chat. I will be BRB. If I if I die, scream really loud. That way I hear it and come back. Sketchy, you're nasty. Go wipe yourself. You stink. Okay, chat, I'm back. Luckily we're not dead, it looks like. We are still alive, somehow. Did I miss anything? 
Thanks for the 100 bits, though. Oh, Lucian, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, and Chibi is driving home. Okay, okay. Chill, chill, chill. my god sorry about my dog we do need to paint still today so we should probably do that i don't know if we have canvases do we we have do we want to do a little painting probably not i don't know what we're gonna paint today somebody told me to paint someone milking a hoglin which is not gonna happen <clears throat> just Right? Uh, not gonna happen. We'll make a large canvas. You know, we need a sugar cane farm as well. I've not redeemed it yet. No, 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 you're not. I'm, I'm, I'm overriding that one. No hoglin milking. That shouldn't even be a sentence I have to say out loud to this chat. <laughs> you guys are so cursed. All right, we'll do another two big canvases. Okay, we have a bunch of canvases now. We, we definitely need to make a sugarcane farm, though. Lona has been, you know, very upset about our current sugarcane farm for a while. <laughs> oh, you're new here? Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Well, I, <laughs> luckily for you, I, I am a pretty reasonable gal. Do we want a big one? Do we want to do a big painting today? I don't know. I, no, I have, sorry, I'm looking in my photos really quick. I had an inspo picture that I thought I saved, but I guess that was just a dream. My, I guess that was just a dream chat because I didn't save anything. Oh, Ain! <laughs> Thank you for the stretch. All right, <laughs> chat. Let me, uh, let me stretch really quick. Uh, give me, give me one sec. Oh, we have a bunch of stuff to put away there as well. Okay, let me stretch again. Grayson, why do you have the impression that this is a SMP? 
or multiplayer world? Why do you have that impression? Just curious. Oh my god, I twisted the butterfly again. God damn it. Thank you, Ain, for the stretch. I appreciate that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. I, I was just curious what gave you that impression, though. Can I join um, Tim? What gave you the impression? <laughs> How's it going, Tim? Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Thank you, Ain. Appreciate that. Doing good, doing good. Uh, just, uh, you know, <laughs> very busy right now, but <laughs> trying to vibe and thrive and survive, you know? How about you? How's it been going? All right, you know what I was thinking? What if we did like a little meadow or something, you know? Like a little a little flower meadow. You know, like kind of like a Minecraft meadow? So we'll have some like darker patches of like the grass. Well, not like that, we won't, but. Yo, Assy, welcome in. What a name. Oh my God. I don't even want to say that name out loud. I, sorry, but like, I, I'm sorry. You're just, uh, it's too much. I'm sorry. It's too much. I, I can't even say that out loud. It's been going good, Azzy. We've been working, um, sorry. Uh, that, that name just fucking blew my mind. Um, <clears throat> we've been working today on our platform for our, you know, art, uh, gallery to go on top of. And then we also, well, you can't see them. They're not rendered in, but we also moved some villagers over here. Um, and leveled them up so that we can uh, get lots of quartz because the thing is going to be made out of quartz. So we've just been like basically grinding today. Now we're stopping to do a little bit of painting. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I'm so glad that everyone kind of knows. Like, <laughs> it's almost like summer chat, you know? Thank you, Azzy. I'm, I'm excited for it, to be honest, but now we're just doing a little bit of painting. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a little, uh, a little meadow. So, you know, I've got some different colors of grass going down in here. Then maybe, maybe we'll do some kind of like little water over here. That's why this part is a little bit darker. And then the rest would be mostly flower field. So we'll have like, you know, lots of little pixels of grass. I don't know, I wanna do something kind of background related because I, I'm not very good at backgrounds yet. And that's one thing I'm trying to get better at. Yeah, it's going to need so much quartz. We have like four stacks right now, so it's going to be a grind. It's going to be such a grind, but that's basically what we're doing. We did go mining for some quartz earlier. Um, was not a great time. I pissed off every single piglin in existence um, somehow by, you know, you know, one arrow didn't hit. Had the Valorant aim for one second chat and uh, yeah, well. Now they all fucking hate me. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back home <laughs> where everyone likes me. Um, and then I got home and I remembered that no one likes me. So it's been a good day. <laughs> yeah, same. Honestly, weekends are sort of like summer. I might take a bunch of time off in the summer chat because weekends and summer chat are just sometimes... <laughs> a little bit much. Actually, I want this to be like less. Huh. 
how many blocks a day do you get per trading? Um, so you can get 12 twice a day from one guy. So every day from, I have four, four guys over there. So every day you can get, um, 24 times four, almost a hundred blocks per day. Not bad. Does it look cute? Is it, is the idea cutie chat or no? And then of course we'll have like a little bit of like the water kind of reflecting a little bit, you know? Well, we would if I wasn't coloring the pixels over the wrong way. That's actually sort of what I was um, kind of thinking in my mind. Um, like very Howl's inspired, but just like a little like corner of it. You know what I mean? Just like a little corner of it. Obviously we have a much smaller space here. Also, just want to say thank, thank you guys for all the follows today. And thank you guys so much for the quiet hellos and all that stuff. I haven't been reading those out today, um, but I appreciate you guys. I hope everyone's doing super, super good. If it's your first time here, my name is Frog Crafting. I am a Minecraft YouTuber and streamer. Um, this is our 500 day-ish hardcore world that we've been working on for a couple of months. This world is very lightly... Um, very, very light lore in this world. Um, we're kind of just working on um, getting better at building and, you know, uh, just messing around. I'm also practicing pixel art in this world. So every day we do a uh, different pixel drawing. And as you can see, every, all of the streams that we have done so far in this world, uh, each have their own drawings. And this is the one we did last time. We did a little cat. His name's Oliver. He, I think he's one of my favorite drawings that we've done so far but also like the junimo and the cherry blossom that we did i feel like we are getting just a lot better at art in general oh wait look at look at him like next to sketchy sketchy that's a that's your face right there that's how i see you when i'm messaging you i'm like that's sketchy i used you as inspo for that <laughs> it is you okay so then Additionally, in the meadow, we'll also have like little flowers. But obviously I don't want them to all be the same. So we're gonna have to figure out how we can do different shaped flowers, but we'll have some flowers and stuff too, but they'll be like a little bit abstract. They won't all, they won't be like, you know. Maybe like the ones out here will be more like just kind of lines. Or like, like a square because they'll be farther away. And then the ones up here can be like closer.
to like real flowers. So let's do like maybe maybe like a like a little daisy kind of flower. But okay, you guys see the vision though, right? Tell me you see the vision. And then in the very front, we'll do some more like darker grass, you know? It just needs a little bit more blue because I don't like my grass to look super, I don't know. I don't like the grass to be that, like this color. This is, this color is not a good grass color to me. That is poop. This color is a lot better for darker grass in my opinion. So, you know, we'll just do, we'll just kind of layer stuff. That's what I want to do today is just like layer stuff and then make it look like a kind of like far away kind of abstract little painting, I guess. I don't know. Thank you, Ashfire. I appreciate that. Um, I don't think that we're going to have any blue. Um... Oh my god, why is the wandering trader back again? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. Oh, you know, we are missing some red though. I feel like red is a good flower color. Yeah, that's um that's the inspo uh blondes. So my, my inspo picture, let me show you guys. Um, I just Googled this. I literally Googled Howl's Moving Castle Meadow. Um, but th that's, th that's sort of the inspo. It's very like loosely inspired because obviously that's like a, a masterpiece. But I have that open on my other screen just to look at if I need like a little bit of help. You have, wait, I didn't realize that you had um, a house movie castle emo. Oh my God. I love that. Such, it's one of my favorite movies. Okay, so hold on, let me change this. So we'll also, also have to do the suggestion to paint Calcifer from um, Lona. We'll do a calcifer painting. We still need to do a Dorito painting as well. And then I guess we'll have to do like milking a hoglin. And that's because of Cynthia and Lawrence. Let's just make sure we get the blame out there right away. Do we like that? No, I also don't like that, but that's okay. Just like a little, like almost tulip kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think we can chill with that. Also, I don't know why I was like dragging that. I don't need to drag that. Okay, so we'll get a couple more like that shape going on. I definitely need to bring some bigger flowers down to below as well. So we'll do like 
a big one of the row kind of like tulip shape ones in the red do another one is is this shape something like do we like this shape i don't know Your stardew dog gave you driftwood? Oh, can the can the animals give gifts? Is that a thing? I need that. D Dorito only gives me a headache, you know what I mean? Hmm. That looks like boobs. <laughs> it looks like a beacon or it looks like boobs. I wanted to do like a little white flower as well, but the white flowers are a little bit. I don't know. That's too. That's too pixel art to me. For this kind of like, if we if we take a look back, you know. Oh yeah, I ha I do have it disabled right now. Abby, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, this wandering trader is making me. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, Leo, I um I think I agree with that. Some of them are a little bit too big in the back. Oh, not that one. This color? Is that the right one? No, this one is. It's been okay, um, Abby. It's it's been fine. You know. It's been, it's been stream. Yeah, uh, dude, he's just resident yapper. Hanging in there, school and personal life issues are kind of kicking my butt right now. I feel that, I feel that. I hope that, um, I hope that you're still doing okay, even though it's been, uh, it's been a little bit rougher, you know? I think that's just magenta. Yeah. Let me just... I don't know. Is it weird if it's just like a single dot all the way in the back? We need the silencing mod and just shush him. I mean, we can silence him pretty easily. Yes. 
No, not the not the wandering trader llama head. There, you will watch the art. This is what you were interrupting so loudly. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so, Lona. I think it's like all or nothing with like the, like if you do commands. flower next to the Junimo. Thanks! We did a cherry blossom the other day. We, well, I tried. I was trying to paint it from this, but it, um, I did four petals instead of five. Because I thought that this was only four, and then I realized that it was five. Um, and then I tried to make a branch, but the branch is kind of shit. It was, um, you know, it was, it was a heckin' time. Yeah, I think I think that um, we're gonna have to just remove a bunch of these like bigger ones. Like one or two can stay, but then the rest have to be smaller. Especially as like you get out of here. We're actually working on a art gallery, Pluto. That's currently what we're building over there. Uh, we do have a lot of plans for this world um, from this map. The art gallery is currently what we're working on. Um, so from the art gallery side of the map, that's basically where that is. And then there'll be like a whole pathway through over to here, um, leading through like a shopping street district area that's gonna be like right in through here. It's okay though. We'll get there. I'm not in like too much of a rush to get anything in particular done in this world. It's just, you know, making little steps at a time. Sometimes there's like a perfect spot for a flower, but then there's like this flower right next to it. It needs to go. And then there's a better spot for that one. Okay, so if we look at that from further away, I feel like that is a little bit better, although some of these ones actually need to be bigger now. Is the art gallery like the next build? Yeah, it is the next build. I'm, I'm just preparing the whole space so I know exactly how big that we can build it um, before we actually... Um, before we actually get started. So um, I showed a little bit earlier, Lona, of like the vibe. I don't know, I, you might have been um, having lunch or something. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of quartz and a lot of, um, you know, light gray glass. I almost wanted to feel sort of like 
a greenhouse, but like then, you know, way fancier. Like this kind of like pattern, you know, I want it to be, you can like see into it and it's like very bright, especially during the daytime. This is going to be just flooded with natural light. Um, and then, so there'll be like a section on the end, probably like up till here. Um, and then you'll have like a small like part going this way. Probably something like this, and then it'll come back this way. And then it'll come out like this. And then there'll be like a much bigger area. So this, this part on the ends, I think will be like, just like seating and like, you know, like a vibe area on both sides. And then um, on the outside, all the way around, there's gonna be a pathway and also like little gardens. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be mostly glass. Um, so that's why I think it's like not as bad for all the quartz that we're going to need. You know, because if you, if you look at like how much it's actually more glass than quartz. Um, but there's going to be so there's going to be like a, a, a first floor. And then a second floor and then we'll have the option to go underground as well. Yeah, no, no, it, it's supposed to sort of resemble a greenhouse. Um, but I wanted to have a lot of natural light within the, um, within the art gallery. Cause that's what we have over on the sunroom in where we paint now. I really want it to have like a similar vibe. Yeah. I mean, it has to, it has to be big though. Um, because like, if we're going to live in this world, I don't want to have to build another one like in a month, you know? But yeah, and we're doing smooth quartz. That way we can have slabs and stairs for shaping. Um, and then the glass will just have to, you know, manipulate around it. I haven't decided on a roof yet. Um, I really, really, I didn't want to do, why did I do that? Um, I did not want to do prismarine, but I'm thinking for something this fancy, we might have to do prismarine. Either prismarine or copper, like um, oxidized copper. But yeah, that's like the basic idea. Then you'll have one, two, three, four, and then five. One, two, three, four, and five. Wait. Time for a prismarine farm. Well, I mean, we could also do moss. Now, moss is a little bit of an unconventional choice, um, but gives us the option to completely decorate the roof as well with like flowers. Yo, Adora, welcome in. How you doing? One, two, three, four. Eight. Sorry, now now I kind of want to see what uh, if we imagine this, right? If we imagine this, I just want to see what it'll, how big this is actually going to be. And then I think it would have to come back in. One, two. No, we st we actually still could have gone another, I think. No, 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 it's it's fine. <laughs> no, don't feel bad. Hi, Phoenix. How you doing, love? How's it going? 
So one, two, three, four, and five. And then this can go in by three. Then two, three, four, and five. So we'll put that there. Two. Wait, hold on. I'm getting really confused at counting. But yeah, basically it'll be something like that. Hung over? Oh no. Did you go out last night? One, two, and three. Yeah, then one, two, three, four, and then like that. It's off somewhere, but this is not going to stay this way. I think it's off right here, I think. You went out with your dad? What? Getting Liddy? With, with, with Papa Phoenix? Hello? I like I like the idea though. I like the idea. Um also <clears throat> gonna say something else that's maybe a little bit controversial. We are gonna need to go back to the end. Um, because we are gonna need so many end rods and so many um walls. End stone. End stone walls. We're gonna have to go back to the end. Um, it's just something that we have to accept at this point. But yeah. Also, a flower farm is probably going to be coming in our future for light gray dye. Light gray dye is the dye that we're using for all these windows. Um, there's going to be a lot of them because there'll be this main floor and then there'll be a second floor. Um, yeah, it's going to get a little bit, uh, a little bit big. This is probably one of the biggest things that I've ever built. Um, but that's okay. We could also probably go another five blocks wide on this side, make the entire thing an, an extra five blocks wide. That way it has a definite middle. Because right now it's not. Right now it's even. So that's also something to consider. <sighs> but I need to count from the corners how many spaces that we are going to go in. Does that make sense? I need to count from like these bits. How many spaces we're going to be in. Oh, bro, I need to go sleep actually. I haven't started figuring out all of that yet. But I will. I will at some point. Probably next time that we're in this world, I'll probably start doing that. Um, I am going to do a little bit of AFKing off of um, between now and then because I also want to finish upgrading our tools to netherite next time. So I'm going to AFK for gunpowder. But all right, back to painting. Oh, okay, Dorito. Okay. Sorry, chat. All right, let's sit. No, I did it. I did it again. God damn it. So much to do. I'm getting overwhelmed. Honestly, same. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep it together because I don't want anyone else to be overwhelmed. Like, I'll be overwhelmed on my own. You guys don't have to be overwhelmed, you know? Okay.
Now, how do, how do I start bringing this? That's the one thing that I'm unsure of. How do I start bringing in these darker colors? Like for the darker grass, you know? I guess I just start coloring it, right? Because we'll also have to do this like here. This needs darker. This needs darker grass as well. But it's this part is like further away. So it's like the less it has to be the less detailed, you know. We are experiencing secondhand overwhelmment. Yeah, so true. And you know, normally I only ever experience secondhand embarrassment. So it's really awkward to feel secondhand overwhelm overwhelmedness, you know? But it's okay. I mean, we're, we're talking about projects, right? That there's no timeline to complete. Um, so if it takes us a couple of months to finish the art gallery, it takes us a couple of months, you know? I don't want anyone to feel overwhelmed or like, you know, they have to be here for like massive amounts of progress because it's all fine. We'll finish it when we finish it. And if that takes us three years, well, sketchy. Um, I hope that you're done with college by then. It'll be fine, chat. Oh, you guys you guys should see me get like really nervous about like <laughs> the project that I'm working on and my hardcore for YouTube. I'm genuinely like every single time I go to start working on the next phase, I start crying. <laughs> every single time I start I go to start working on the next phase, I just break down. I'm gonna, it came out while I was streaming Phoenix. I'm gonna watch it after my stream though. I did see that you sent it. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to, to watch it though. I love this song. It's so good. <gasps> Honey bunnies. Heck yeah. Thank you so much for the eight months, lovely. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Hope it's been going well with you. All right. How is that looking? Oh my God. That looks so much better already. Look, that made a huge difference adding the grass. Like if we put it up there. Wow. That actually looks so much better already. I guess we just got to continue that throughout the whole thing. Liam, welcome in. How you doing? You're already in love with them? Oh my gosh, stop. I'm so excited. I had fun with you yesterday, even though we did really bad in our games. <laughs> I wake up and Frog's still streaming. So am I streaming late or are you up early? It was, it was fun. It was, I had so much fun. I, I really, I, I had such a good time. I love Valorant so much. It was really, really great. It was, um, very high skill games with very good teammates. My mental health is not ready for these breakdowns. 
Yeah, like the twenty minute cry after you play Valorant. Yeah, it's it's real. It's real. I think I need to just do some more kind of like grass shape. But obviously back here it's way way less noticeable what it is, you know? That is better. Going to rage in your room is needed sometimes, sometimes. Are we, a, we're all just living the same life here. We're all just, we're all just angry at Valorant all the time. Are any of us having fun with it still, or? I want to go to a rage room. What is that? What is, what is a, what does that mean? I thought you guys were meaning that you guys were like going to the range. You get to break stuff? How is everyone knowing about this except for me? Are you guys all not in control of your anger? I love and hate Fortnite, yeah. I feel like uh, games that you really love, sometimes you also hate them, you know? It's just part of the... It's just part of the package, you know? Sometimes you love that game so much that you hate it. I don't know, I've never heard, I've never heard of that before. I'm a American. I don't think the white looks good. Maybe if I just dot a couple. Is that okay ish? I hate that. And now I can't undo it. <gasps> God damn it. I don't know, I don't play any, I don't play Minecraft for mini games or like mini game servers, you know what I mean? So I, I have genuinely like no opinion on them. I just play my silly little worlds, you know? Yo, 
a dream. Welcome in. How's it going? How's it going, Dream of Autumn? Hope you're having a good day. We're currently just doing a little bit of painting. Um, we're making a little flower meadow kind of inspired by Howl's Moving Castle. This definitely needs a little bit more shaping. Then also, this will need a little bit more shaping because we need some lighter pieces of grass, you know? Wouldn't just all be darker colored grass. Is it cutie? Is it, is it good chat? Like. She kind of looks cutie, right? I mean, we're getting there. It's just taking a while. Layering, as I said, layering is something that I'm trying to play around with today. No, no, no. I, th I think I think we'll call it good. I think we'll call it done. I don't want to ruin it by going any further. So, Hell's Meadow. Oh well, we'll just do Meadow then. Twenty-four. Oh my god. She's cutie. Really like her. I want that in my house. You know, honestly, why do I feel like this kind of is a better flag than the current town flag that we have? Like, like n not even trolling. Why is that kind of better? For now, we'll just put it in here. At least we painted today. That's that's a W. Um, now I guess we go back to placing spruce wood, which is just everybody's favorite thing. Yo, Dylan, welcome in. How you doing, Dylan? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, we have a canvas as well. I gotta put that away. Okay. Any other random stuff that we have? I feel like I've made so many rockets today and like I have none. Spring break just started, nice. And you have a girlfriend, let's go. Huge W's in the Dylan world, I see. Oh my god, those bees almost got killed. I was like, oh, what was that? Who was moving in the forest? Yo, Bimo, welcome in. How's it going, love? Oh, I like this song, Cha. I like this song a lot, actually. 
actually just a big vibe. Spirit, thanks for the quiet hello. Hope you enjoy your lurk. Just woke up? Nice, nice. Um, it's been going good. We've been working on the platform for the art gallery today. And moved some villagers over here. Did We just finished our painting, actually. We can go, I can show you in just one sec. We painted a meadow inspired by House Moving Castle today. And um, where is it? Oh, it's half covered by the glowberries. Let me get it. But um, I don't have a lot of space in this house. I'll put it here. That's the painting that we did today. Just like a little, a little meadow with some flowers and a little bit of a like pond or something, a puddle. Thank you for working. I appreciate that. Um, speaking of, like, meadows, I don't know why, but seeing all of the colors there reminded me that we probably should check on the melon and pumpkin farm. Yeah, we have a lot. It's so good, right, Lona? It just feels, I feel like this would be an end of the world ballet song. I don't know why. Bring those over to the villagers. You want to get back into ballet? I am. Um, I did ballet a little bit as a kid, but I didn't really enjoy it. I enjoy watching it as an adult, though. Very, very beautiful. Might take a little nap. Um, I'm only streaming for another hour, so. I don't know how long you're planning on napping. Either way, it's fine. You fixed it. What was wrong with that? All right, so it's going to have to be like this, which is going to look a little bit weird, but it's on a diagonal. So what more do the people want? Yeah, I still try to walk on my um, my toes a lot as well. I'm slowly trying to break out of that, just because it's um, I don't know. I just like I don't want to do it anymore. You know, I've lost my balance a few times. I'm not as I don't have as good balance as when I was a kid. You know. Oh, that's weird. Well, I'm glad you fixed it.
Oh yeah, I um I don't have as great balance anymore. But I also think I also think part of my balance problem is because I have low iron, so I feel like I get dizzy really easily. Ooh, copper. Okay, Lona, you know what I was just thinking? And and hear me out on this one. What if at the top there was like a circular part of the art gallery? What if we completely got rid of the square and we went with a circle? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, eventually, yes. Right now, no. But eventually, the answer to that is yes. I'll have to do something in these ones. These, like, really big ones. They need something. They look a little awkward. Not the crying phase. No, Lona. No, 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 no crying. It's okay. I mean, I wonder if this could be fixed with just like literally simply. Making it two instead of one, but then this one looks awkward. In my opinion, if we do that. Because this one can't do that. Although, I mean, does that look bad? I actually kind of like it. What if you add a stone brick wall? Oh, so like um, right here, instead of um, a whole thing, do like a stone brick wall. We could try that. I'm not unopposed to it. There we go. How are you doing, Derek? Welcome in. I do have lanterns and I did make flower pots too. I just don't remember where I stashed them. They're right here. Do I need chains? Probably, right? Coffee, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. If ugly, use leaves. <laughs> okay. We can't just use leaves to fix all of our problems, Lona.
It looks like a... Um... Yo, Sophie, welcome in. It's my way of saying wow. I, um... I Well, I, I didn't know what that was supposed to mean. If I had Mizuno's Azalea Leaves IRL, I would be happier. Yeah, me too. As a person, I would just have... I would be different completely. I think on the big one, it still needs... Oh, uh, maybe... Maybe on the big one only, it just needs like... Like that. Yeah, I really, I really, really like that. And then this up top just needs another um, chiseled. I don't know. If, I don't know how to make chiseled though. I think it's only with a stone cutter. But that's fine. At least we have like a basic design. Although I haven't, I haven't done much of this area out here with torches, so I'm a little bit scared. Hello? Any wardens? Thanks, I appreciate that. It's um well, I mean, it's it's going to be a work in progress for a while, I think, but it's coming together. We're making little bits of progress here and there. I think that's the important part, just making little tiny bits of progress at a time. What if we kissed in the Frog Sea Rafting Art Gallery? Oh my god, are you asking me? Or are you asking... Is Shade even home? Yo, Dixamax, welcome in, how's it going? How you doing? How's your day? It's looking cute though. I really, really like it. It gives me the platform from the 100 Days video, if you guys remember how that looked, but like better. God, what a pain in the ass that was to build, by the way. all that glazed terracotta never want to see glazed terracotta again in my life placing that was a nightmare especially because it was in a specific pattern so i'm not gonna lie chat i um after i did like the first like 12 seconds i light matica easy place the rest i'm not gonna lie I just woke up. Today's my birthday. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. Do you have any plans?
but we're gonna build a very similar platform to this over at the um over here when we make our farmer's market it'll also be on like a raised platform like this and then it'll have like all of our farmer stalls up on top. Do you have a Mizuno's version of a platform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a Mizuno's version of this from the build that inspired the 100 days one. Um, but I probably most people in here just would recognize the 100 days rather than that one. I don't think that there's very many peeps around from that time still. work at my studio and then buy a piece of cake from a local cafe. That still sounds like a really like nice kind of low key day. I like that. Yeah, 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 cuz of Pinterest. Yeah, if you if you were if you've deep dived into the frog crafting history, you've probably seen where that build originally came from. I just I I took that build because I loved that build so much and I just made it better for YouTube cuz I was like this build has never gotten the love that it deserves. You know? But I do that a lot with Twitch things. I recycle them for YouTube because uh, Twitch is where I just kind of find like that I mess around more. You know what I mean? So I try new things and then if I like it, then I can like translate it over into like my long lasting stuff. Also, I, I think the addition of just a few um, a few leaves here and there really, really make a difference. Like on the parts where it doesn't have leaves, it looks so like abandoned, you know? This is cutie. I'm uh, very nervous to do the top part now that the bottom part is looking good. What if it doesn't look good up there, chat? <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had to sneeze, but I didn't. Oh yeah, and this over here is just a complete mess. Oh my God. You know when I say like, this is future Froggy's problem, sometimes that's toxic, you know? Sometimes that's toxic and like we should, we should hold me accountable for that. <laughs> Do. Future us might be prepared. <laughs> Lona, you know who you're talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, you better get out of here, you little sheep. have to take this tree too and this one I'm sorry trees but you have to go I will replant you up top 
Maybe I'll build custom trees. Do you guys think that this is fancy enough to need custom trees? Probably, right? Ow. Yo, Kiki, welcome in. Princess, welcome back. How's it going, love? How was the sleep? And how's it going, Kiki? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day, love. Oh, wait, no, I need that. Oh, also, we should go trade. Hello. I'm here for all of your emeralds. And all of the quartz will be mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. Everything is all like this again. Lona, this is your fault. Um, you just have to accept the blame. I'm sorry. Someone has to and today it's you. Are you a fan of frogs? Um, I mean, yes, but also my nickname has been frog like my entire life. Yo, Ray, welcome in. We are working on the foundation for our art gallery, um, which this is just like a, a mock-up of how big the art gallery is going to be. Um, it won't be in this exact position and it actually needs to be about five blocks wider. Um, but yeah, we are currently just working on um, the, the foundation for it. Wish I could go back to sleep, but we have um, some things going on today. Ooh, okay, okay. I like that. I mean, having things going on is good. Do wish that you could also get some more sleep because you deserve it. There we go. We'll do that. And we need to do that on this side as well. Yeah, it's, it's got to be pretty big because of, um, well, you know, it's, it's going to be home to all of our art for at least the next, uh, well, I hope for the next year. Um, if we live in this world that long and if I'm still streaming in a year, I hope that it'll last us about a year. But we also have the option to go underground if we need more space. let's go Liam yeah I mean um didn't get the most progress done honestly um I wanted to get a little bit more done but we also we like you know moved villagers over and stuff and that was just also kind of a nightmare and then we were debating pallets and trying a bunch of different things for the back of the um you know, the back of the, this area. I don't know what the word is. I mean, it, it is what it is. We're getting there. That's the important thing, we're getting there. Oh, and I also had to terraform this whole side down about five layers, so that was great. Um. Oh, and we painted something Howl's Moving Castle inspired today, so that was also fun. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too upset with it. Just um 
you know, I, sometimes I think I need to be able to stream more so we can get more progress done, but I just, I like physically can't stream anymore right now without like really sacrificing <laughs> some other parts of my life, which I'm already, you know, what other parts of your life? Chat screams. Yeah, I will, sh I will show you um, in just one second. Let me just get all of this part done. I think that we're getting close to the part I left off on. Yeah, so we're, we're almost done. I'm gonna have to remove this section as well. Oh, am I out of wood? Oh, bruh. <laughs> progress is progress. I would have given up already. I think that you could do it though, Ray. Part, part of me trying things in this world is telling myself, even if it's scary, I can do it. You know what I mean? And I want, I want you guys to do that as well. I don't, I want, I don't want you guys to not like believe in yourself. Like don't give up on yourself that easily. Just tell yourself the next time that you're about to give up, be like, would Frogsy rafting give up? And then when you know the answer is yes, think about it again and remember this moment. <laughs> We're trying to give up less, chat. Okay, we're trying to give up less. Oh, bruh. You're giving up on giving up. Exactly, exactly. But I've been um, I've been working pretty hard the last uh, about the last month or so on trying to get some videos scheduled and stuff so that I can work on the Stardew Valley video that's going to be coming. Um, I've been grinding a lot. Um, uh, and pretty soon I'm going to need to probably take a couple days. I mean, I did take a couple days pretty recently because of my voice, which um, still is not feeling its best chat. It's uh, still like constantly sore. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> fuck it, we ball. Oh, bruh. But yeah, I mean, coming up, I will probably just take a little bit of time. I'm trying to get about a month ahead on videos. Um, the size of the projects is just larger and larger and larger, you know? And that's for all the series right now, the Create series as well. My next video is going to be huge. I think it'll be um, probably at least like 25 minutes long. Oh, Avid, welcome in. How's it going? All right, just gonna replace a couple of these. Just need a little bit more stairs going on. Oh, um, let me just do like a half stack of stairs. I don't need that many, but we'll just get that many. Okay, and then we'll just send those upside down on the corners. I should have done this earlier when I had all the scaffolding out. I still do have scaffolding though. That's probably a better way to do this instead of almost dying every time. Ow. How's it going, Avid? Hope you're having a good day so far. Welcome, welcome. There we 
we go. Is that is that all of the sides? Oh no. Of course not. <laughs> Why would it be? There we go. All done. All right. Uh, princess, we were gonna show you the painting that we did. All right, let's just take a quick look from up at the top in free cam. Obviously, this doorway is not going to stay there forever. I just want everyone to know that it won't, it won't stay there. And right here, we will obviously also bring down the same pattern that we have over here. We'll bring down a lantern. But I, I, th I think it looks good. I mean, it definitely needs to, you know, still be detailed with like, you know, the leaves and stuff around. Um, I think the next thing that I've got to figure out is why this looks so wrong. And that's because this is missing. Right there. There we go. That was missing a thingy. And then, um, so the next thing that we'll have to do is we are going to be bringing up a, a staircase from on this side. Um, it's going to be a fucking doozy though, I think. But for now, it can stay like this. For now, it's fine. And then we'll have, of course, you know, the, the pathway going around the entire thing with like, um, gardens and stuff. Um, and I think at the current size, we can probably get away with doing like a three wide pathway all the way around and still have room. But if we reduce this by five, instead of increase it by five, we could do a five wide pathway all the way around. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm not looking forward to doing the staircase. That's why <laughs> today I, I am not doing it, but it, it's fine for now. It'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but as far as the painting goes, um, like I said, we, we painted a little meadow that was kind of like, you know, Howl's Moving Castle inspired. Um, so I had a little, you know, a little painting. I mean, obviously like take it with a grain of salt, you know, it's, it's 32 by 32 instead of that like beautiful masterpiece over here on the side, but you know, that was my inspo today for our little painting. But yeah, now it's, um, we have about half hour left of the stream. Probably not going to do any more building, but I probably should do some more grinding for, um, for flowers. So. I think honestly what we're going to do is we're going to go find a spot where we can grow white tulips with bone meal and we're just going to bone meal for a while. I don't have any flower farms yet, so that's um unfortunate. So it's going to be a little bit boring. I apologize, but it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do, right? Maybe we'll bring like some netherrack. And then we've got all of this bonage going on. Why did I call it bonage like that? Um, <clears throat> please ignore me. Just actually, I, I, you know, in the future, I just am gonna refuse to speak. We, I mean, we live in a flower forest, Azzy. <laughs> We live in a flower forest. I just haven't found a spot yet that does white tulips. I haven't started setting up like bone uh, or flower farms yet. But eventually we will have a flower farm for all the different flowers. 
Yeah, I, I picked this seed specifically because of this flower forest. Um, so you can actually see it a little bit easier in the day. So I'll switch to our map. Um, well, actually, well, you can't follow my cursor on this. Never mind. Hold on. Uh, let me let me go back to the game. So all through here, all the way down and around, and then all the way up over into this area, all is flower forest. The entire thing. Um, so eventually our goal is to have a big town here, our industrial district over here, Taylor Swift Island over here, and then this part will probably be like a big castle. Um, but that's of course like long term, long term. You know, we've got a lot of stuff to do between now and then. Okay, that's orange tulips right there. Is this gonna also be orange tulip? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's go maybe over here. Still orange tulips. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, um, I want to do... So, over at that island that I just showed... Um, it does, it does need work, though, so keep that in mind. But I want to do a Minecraft house for each of the Taylor Swift albums. So, like, a house inspired by Debut, Fearless, Speak Now, Red. You know, I want to do a house in, like, a themed builds for the entire island and make the entire island like a little Taylor Swift island. So there would be like a skulk house for midnight, you know, a mangrove house for red or like a red mushroom house for red. I haven't decided. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the new album as well. And we're just gonna make like a little like village. And that'll be Taylor Swift Island. My FPS in like a couple months is going to be like zero while flying through here, I, I swear. Yeah, I've seen that before. It's really, really cool. Um, Those are red tulips. Okay, I just need to find... Okay, this is a completely different flower. But let's just make sure... That it's not white tulips. Oh my god, give me a give me a flower. Okay, yep, that's that flower. This is gonna be so much fun, chat. This is gonna, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna love this so much. Maybe it's time to upgrade. I Yeah, I mean, like, once you get to a certain point in Minecraft, you just, upgrading's not gonna help anymore, you know? Once you have too many things. Oh, white tulips, okay, okay, okay. Let's just make sure. That when we bone meal, there's always going to be white tulips in this area. Okay. Well, there's also pink tulips, but that's not a big deal. We mostly need white tulips. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put down a little... I'm going to put down like a little netherrack border, right? In this like general area. And I'm going to bone meal the shit out of it, and then I'm going to water bucket it and pick it up. It's going to be a budget flower farm. For all my cottagecore girlies on a budget.
This is going to be so annoying. Okay. Doing the water thing sucks. Okay. What if we just... Just break it. This is why people make flower farms. Because this is annoying. Yo, ghost pup. Welcome in. How's it going? Um, but the reason we're doing this is that we need a ton of light gray dye. Um, and there's just probably no better way to get it than what we're doing right now. Yeah, 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 the piston back and forth thing. I mean, that's possible maybe depending on how much we can get in like the next, you know, before the end of stream. That's possible that that's the next project that we do is just like a little flower farm in a box and then we can just set it up wherever we need to set it up. Making a flower farm is not hard. It's just loud. I, I don't know. One of the bonus things about this specific space that we're bone mealing is that we're also getting pink tulips, which are my favorite tulips. They are so romantic looking in Mizunos. I love them so much. Is this too loud for you guys? Do you need me to turn it down? Hopefully it's not super loud. I mean, it's really probably annoying to listen to. Okay, cool. I'm glad. But I mean, so far not too bad as far as like rates go, not too bad. We still have like a very wild looking um, patch over there. Right now with like all that tall grass and like the half built walls, it's giving, you guys know that that like game where you like match three and like repair the house over time, the like homescapes or whatever. It's giving homescapes genuinely. Yo, Cloud Froggy and Ailey, welcome in. How you doing Ailey? Ailey, it's been going good. We got a whole platform done for the art gallery to go on. And now we are just grinding some white tulips for uh, light gray dye. Uh, we made a budget flower farm for all of our cottage core girlies on a budget, which is just us punching the ground after we bone meal it. Maybe I should expand it a tiny bit because I think that there were some more over here. Oh, is that all of the netherrack? Oh no, definitely not. I was gonna say, I had a stack. Okay, so at this point, now it becomes like, okay, should I water bucket it? But there are more white ones over here, which is good. Combining black dye and two whites is a good way. Yeah, um, black dye, you either need a wither rose farm or you need to make a squid farm though. Like I, I have so much more bone meal to bone meal the ground and then get like other flowers as well, rather than like farming squid manually right now. Yeah, I mean, if, if we had, if we had a, a wither rose farm, that would be different. But eventually we can make a, a wither rose farm. I mean, you can automate that pretty easily with um, like this machine under the end portal. Um, and then there's like a whole, um, 
there's like a whole um, thing where you can make snow golems really, really fast. You can't bone meal flowers on Java Edition. Only the only the tall ones. It, it doesn't work. That's a bedrock only feature. It's okay. I'm fine with doing it this way. I mean, think about the, the free pink tulips chat. We're getting free pink tulips from this. I know, I really, that's something I really, really want. I want more bone mealable flowers in Java, like the two tall flowers. I want, I want so many flowers. I got used to playing modded. <laughs> yeah, I mean, being able to convert charcoal into black dye would actually be um, huge. And it would make sense because a, a lot of people like historically have used charcoal as like, um, you know, black uh, makeup or. What are we looking for? We're just getting um, white tulips for um, light gray dye. So right now we have about two stacks. And we have about 15 minutes of stream left. I mean, two stacks might even be too much for what we need. But I just want to get a bunch. That way we don't have to do this again when we're actually building. You know, before, um, I used to think that you had to make charcoal to make campfires. I didn't know you could use regular coal for that. I don't know why I thought you had to use charcoal, but I was convinced for like a year that you had to use charcoal. Otherwise, there's no other... I wish that there was a charcoal block. I feel like charcoal block would go hard, you know? Bone mealing a certain place give you certain flowers in general. Yes. So every single tile in Minecraft has a flower assigned to it. Every single tile. Tile. You don't know what that tile has until you bone meal it. Um, and just doing general bone mealing like I'm doing right now is not how you find it out. Um, you have to actually. So we're looking at this tile specifically right here. That one is red tulips. But like just because a red tulip spawned here, it doesn't mean that this one is red tulip. It's most likely probably red tulip because this one's red tulip. Um, but this one could be something else. You know what I mean? Especially in flower forests or in plains where there's like a lot of different flower types. Um, but yeah, there's um there's a flower like map, basically. Oh my god, they made Minecraft gay again.
yeah, I only learned that since I started streaming. Um... And right now, I'm just taking advantage of the fact that this area appears to be just white tulips and pink tulips. But, I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this one's white tulips. That's white tulip. That's white tulip. Oh, that, that one was also white tulip. Yeah, okay. So yeah, all of these over here are all white tulip. So I'm just taking advantage of that. Because um, the flowers that grow around it can sometimes be wrong. So like when you, when I bone meal something, it, the bone meal for the flower map only applies to this specific spot. And then you have to basically figure out what every single spot is. I don't know if there is a mod or a resource pack out there that knows the flower map for you. Um, but that would be cool to see. Because sometimes these ones are white and sometimes those ones are pink too. So it's just like interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that section with the azures would also, um, would also apply. Um, same with oxide daisies. If you have, if we had a section for oxide daisies, I, I'm just doing it over here because sometimes we get pink tulips too. is a mod hold on oh this mod is for fabric and it shows um a flower map on your screen. Hold on, I'm gonna download this, guys. Give me one second. I wanna install this and try it out. Hold on, let me um, let me save and quit before we're done for today. We'll go to a chatting scene. I have to restart my game when I add the mod. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to install this. Give me one sec. Okay, I have the rest of the dependencies, so this should work once I add this. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Azzy. But from seeing this, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really, really interesting. Um, seeing just like the flower patterns on the map. All right, give me one sec. Let me change the button to toggle it on and off. Let's do like... That button, okay. Yeah, Mushloon, 
hello, hello. Welcome in. Hopefully it doesn't crash, guys. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. So as you can see where I'm standing right now, this is white tulip or this is pink tulip over here and this is white tulip. And then this is orange tulip and red tulip. And then there's azures and then allium and poppy. So if this tool is right, when we bone meal, we should get alliums in this area, which we are. And then if we go just a little bit like right here. Oh, so wait, so is it is it Y dependent as well? Because did you notice when we were up here? Yeah, now up here, this has red. So up here, this is this would be a different flower. I didn't know that flowers were Y dependent. That is an interesting bit of information. Hmm. So if we just fly through our world a little bit. I, does it only work in the flower forest? Cause it feels like it only works in the flower forest. Cause this is all over the river. Or maybe it's only spots with like a bunch of land. Although this has land or is it just that chaotic? Is it just that chaotic outside of flower forest? Cause that is like banana sandwich for my eyes. You know what I mean? Like, well, this spot is like a little, a little dandelion. I mean, there are a bunch of different colors out here. Maybe it is just that banana sandwich. Interesting though. Very, very interesting. And yeah, as you can see, as we go up and down in the world, it is changing. You know, at level 60, it's different than level 90. Very interesting. We have some cornflower up here as well. We do. <gasps> Look at that. Also like oxide daisies. You know, right around that little cornflower spot. Yeah, look at that. So this this map is accurate. Um, but I am going to turn it off because <laughs> we, we don't need it right necessarily this moment. Yeah, I know it was um it was a little bit rough to look at. I apologize. Kato, welcome in. How's it going? I wonder what's causing that. I, I think that it only does fl like flower forest or if it's really just that random outside of um, flower forests. You know what I mean? Like uh, like a, a poppy next to a dandelion next to a cornflower. You know what I mean? Like all over everywhere. That's fair. Loki tired. I feel that. I feel that. Hope you can get some rest pretty soon. We're uh, coming on the end of here a six hour stream. I'm um, just trying to, you know, get some white tulips for some dye. But, you know, we just installed a flower map mod just to see the flower thing to just, uh, well, mess around with that. But we actually got quite a bit. We got almost four stacks and we got you know, a stack and a half of tulips as well, which are of the pink tulips as well. So, I mean, that's not bad. Not bad for what we were actually doing. It looks very, very wild over here though. We're gonna have to go mine so much sand as well. Um, We should probably go out to the desert and take like a shulker 
probably two shulkers of sand next time and just go ham. We have a lot to do for this project. Oprah, hello? Plains and Sunflower Plains also have their own flower gradient, but it's much less fancy. Hold on, let me see if it like shows up. Sorry, chat, the, the thing that hurts our eyes is coming back. Yeah, no, it's like really random noise out out in like the sunflower plains even down on the ground it is annoyingly yeah i think that i think that this mod just only works with um the flower forest well that's okay though I mean, it's, it's still cool to, if I just need to ch uh, check quickly, like, oh, do we have any, you know, flowers nearby? Um, we'll, we'll just use it for, like, those, like, scenarios. And I will update the mod list as well. I will add it to the mod list. Let me actually add that to my to-do list. Yeah, it is, it is quite intense. It is quite intense. I agree with that. Okay. Chat, um, that's gonna be it for today though. It is three o'clock. It is time for me to go. Don't forget, tomorrow we are starting the Stardew Valley 1.6 update on our current existing perfection farm, which is gonna be really exciting. Um, if you guys want to catch up on any of the VODs for this channel, feel free to head over to the VOD channel and subscribe. Or if you're interested in other content, you know, like my YouTube content, feel free to head over and check it out. I just put up a new video yesterday. Yeah, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, we do have, um, so I think I'm going to be here every day this week. Um, I'm definitely going to be here tomorrow. I hope to be here Friday and Sunday as well. Um, I will let you guys know if I have to take any time off because of, you know, videos, voice, etc. Um, let me see. Do I have anyone to raid? Uh, the person I had a tab for raided out like a while ago, like three or four hours ago. I just didn't realize that. Uh, well, I mean, I can't expect everyone to have a, you know, 87,000 hour stream. All right, I'm not going to raid today, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if not, I will see you when I see you. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the bits, the subs, the vibes, and etc. I will catch you guys later.